What's going on, lads? Oh, my days. I can't believe what happened on Saturday. What a shocking result. But um, Wednesday, we got the cup against Forest, and I think our fortunes will turn. I think we'll be all right. And, um, you know, Eric Ten Hag, he's getting a lot of stick at the moment, but he's a winner. And, um, you know, he won a trophy last season, and I'm think, I think he's going to win a trophy this season as well. 3 0 United. Come on. Big one, United versus Forest. I'm going 2 1 to United. Ahmed on the score sheet, Bruno on the score sheet. I think Ahmed has to start because, sincerely, I don't think Forsen's up for it. And also, I, I think it's best time Ten Hag starts putting faith in players that he really hasn't shown a chance yet in order for his job to stay safe. Thank you. Up the paddock, up the Reds. Hello and welcome to Stratford Paddock. This is the watch along Nottingham Forest versus Manchester United. The FA Cup rumbles on. What what round are we in now? Fifth? Sixth? No, we're fifth in the round. fifth round. We had the, we've had we've had Wigan. We've had Wigan. Newport. Yes. So we, we're we're amongst the big boys now. Yeah, we're we in are. Like, this is the the latter stages. The latter day Saints. Yeah. <laughs> Not uh, speaking of Saints, they're playing uh, Liverpool later. Uh, get in the comments, get in Again. your thoughts on the game. Yeah, they play each other all the time. They did all um, the, we'll have the, the team news graphic don't, don't. up in a second. Don't, don't. Um, but there's a few changes being made. One guy's, well, a couple of people have come back well, in. One guy, one guy's just turned up and he's got a game. A couple of people back into the, into the starting 11 for Man United. But give me your thoughts firstly on, on this game, what it means to you as a fan, what it means to Manchester United. This is the season right here. Do you think? Yeah. Like, it's all well and good, like, playing for fourth or fifth if City and Arsenal do well in the Champions League or whatever. But that's not what it's about as a fan. You want to have trophies to look forward to. Yeah. Even the, the illusion of you might win a trophy. I mean, we've been lucky in the sense, and I use the term lucky loosely, that over the last sort of 10 years, even when everything has been a bit of a dog's dinner, as Webby would say, we've always either got to the last stages of competitions yeah. or won something. Like, we have won silverware and we have been to finals and semi-finals. We've had that to look forward to as a fan. You go, oh, well, we might, you know, we might win the, the Europa League or we might win the, the, the FA Cup or we might win this. And it's not great, when, especially when you don't win them, but at least you go, okay, we've still got a little bit of optimism there that we can lift silverware at the end of the season. Yeah. And you know, more often than not, we don't, but sometimes we do. If you've not got that, if you've not got any sort of final to look forward to or another stage of the cup to look forward to it's literally just if we stop being proper crap in the league we might scrape Champions League football next season mm. that's not very sexy is it not really. that's not where you're thinking oh wouldn't it be great if we just get fifth yeah. and City win the Champions League again and then we'll get in the Champions League no so you want to have something to look forward to in terms of silverware the FA Cup is a fantastic trophy to win some of my bestest ever Memories as a United fan have been in this competition. I would love it if we won it. Love it if we beat them. Just love it. Love it if we won it this season. And at the very least, you want to sort of be in with a shout in the last stages, not getting knocked out in the fifth round to Nottingham Forest. Absolutely. I'm going to go through the team. We'll get the graphic up in a second when it's ready. Um, but we've got Onana in goal. Mm. And what I'm predicting to be Dallow at right back, yeah. Lindelof, Varane as your two centre backs, okay, and Amrabat as your left back. Well, I know it means to sound melodramatic, but finally. What? That makes more sense to me than Lindelof at that point. Do you think? Yeah, because I'm sorry, right? I like Vince Lindelof. I think he's all right. I think he's he's just one of those players who's probably not as good as we thought he was going to be when we got him. Yeah. But he's done a, an okay job. I don't think he's been amazing. I don't think he's been terrible. He's been all, all right. But he's not a left back, and he's pretty poor at left back. Yeah. And Amrabat has had, has had sort of moments at left back where you're like, what are you doing? But also, he's had moments where you go, okay, he can play there and he can do a reasonable job. I just don't think Lindelof should be an option at left back. Yeah. To be honest with you, and I just don't think he's got it in him at all. It was the derby one at Old Trafford where he was left back and he was terrible. Mm. We saw him when he came on against Villa and he struggled. Um, was it Luton the other game he came on? And they all just put melt mold into one. But he's he's just struggled basically when he's when he's played in that position. It's not his position. I don't even think he's a right back to be fair to the kid, let alone a left back. So, Sofian Amrabat makes more sense to me. And I'm not one of these who thinks Amrabat's our saviour because he ain't. But I just think he's a better option at left back 
than Victor Lindelof. Yeah, into the midfield then it's Casemiro, McTominay and Bruno. Uh, Mainu on the bench, Eriksen on the bench. Bruno fit to start. Thoughts? I, I kind of understand the Mainu on the bench thing because he's got to play him in the derby. Yeah. If he doesn't play him in the derby, then colour me Senag out. And I just wonder where he's looking at going, look, I've got to try and manage your minutes a little bit. I know you mint, but you are 18 years old. Probably looks a little bit off the pace against Fulham because he's had loads of games. It wasn't his fault because I think we were settled badly and also none of his teammates helped him. But he might have looked at it and go, look, sit this one out yeah. and let's have you start in a derby. If he's doing that, I'm all about it. If he's not, if he's dropping him and he doesn't play him in a derby, then he wants sectioning. I, th- I don't think, I, I can't imagine that would be the case. You look at. You know, you shouldn't just play every single week, every single game, no matter what, if you fit. That, like most teams do rotate a little bit. He's 18, I isn't it? I know yeah, he's mint, on. but and people go, oh, he's 18, he's full of people. He can get burnt out. Yeah. Like you need to manage his minutes a little bit. And this is probably the best option you've got of resting him. Yeah. Because you can't rest him at the Etihad. That's just not an option. That's just be no. stupid. So you go, look at it, okay, let's just, you know, even if you give him 30 minutes at the end today, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I get it. So, yeah, I think that, that makes sense to me. Even even though had he started, I wouldn't have been complaining because yeah. I love him. Uh, and then a front three of Garnacho, Rashford and Anthony. So Rashford stays down the middle by the looks of things. As you can see there, Garnacho, we're saying on the left just because Anthony's never really played over on the left-hand side. Um, and then Anthony comes back into the squad on the right-hand side or into the first team, I should say. What do you make of the front three? Yeah, it makes sense to me. I think... Um, Anthony, I know he's had his, his, his detractors and he's not exactly set the world right since he's come to United, but I still feel like he should be an option at some point. Yeah. I think it's kind of insane that he's never an option. I don't think I'll go that far. I think that, again, if you're rotating slightly, then yeah, you can play him on the right. Doesn't That means you don't have to move as much about in terms of you know what you've got to do. He, that's his best position, I think. Um, Ganacho, although he has been playing well on the right, I think he prefers playing on the left and Marcus down the middle. Yeah, it's without without Hoyland, that's the obvious one, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I know some people may say you can play McTominay up there. I think Maka made the point um, the other day, but I think, I don't know, I think it might be a bit of a stretch to, to play him up front. What do you make of um, No Ahmad? Obviously, a lot of comments in on the, the, on the, bench, the, the yeah. response to the, the Twitter post about him not starting. He came on ahead of Anthony the other day, and then now he, he starts Anthony ahead I, of him. I, w- I would have started him, personally. I thought he deserved the chance. I thought he did well when he came on against Fulham. And I think he's better than, than Anthony. But I just feel that, you know, it's, it's one of them. The manager's probably sticking with the guy that he spent a lot of money on. Yeah. I just feel it's a bit of a mistake. That One thing I will say, though, and this is the only sort of defence I will make on the Diallo not starting front, he's a good option off the bench. Yeah. I don't think Anthony is. I think if Anthony's on that bench, you've literally got, for me... Nobody on that bench who can win, maybe Maynou, but he's not really an attacking, attacking player. I know he got the win mm. against Wolves, and I know Ericsson can control the midfield, but you've not got someone who's going to come on, run at defenders, and maybe get you a goal. And he won't, for me, isn't that guy. But I think Ahmad could be. So, whilst I would have started him, I think at least we've got one person I can look at on that bench and say could be a bit of a match winner. Also, I mean, no offence, people, especially on Twitter, I know there's, in, in our comments in the chat, there's a lot of people sort of wishing they'd seen Ahmad and that seems to be the main sort of the point of, of contention. But the re- but on, on Twitter, some of the replies are talking about, I don't understand this lineup, disgraceful lineup, um, like just some of the ridiculous replies. But you think, like, look at the bench. <laughs> like, Bayern Deer, are people, some people saying starting Onana, I think he's been pretty good recently. Certainly not droppable, uh, or certainly you wouldn't drop him when you don't know how good Bayern Deer is. Um, Evans, I get why he's not starting, maybe you could argue that. But Kambuala, uh, uh, Ogune, Og- Ogune, I don't actually know how you pronounce his name, to be honest, no offence. Um, Ahmad, Collier, Eriksen, Force and Mainu. Other than Mainu, who obviously usually starts, but I guess he's been rotated and rested for, for the City game. Like, there's not a lot of players on there who, like, he has to have started this guy. Ahmad looked sharp in a 30-minute spell against... It was it Forrest, wasn't it? Yeah. In the league. And you're like, that's not really enough to prove to me that you should be starting what is probably, our, you know, maybe our biggest game of the season. Like, I, I, I like him. I think he should be given more minutes. I'd, I'd be interested to see him start, personally. I, I think I, I wouldn't be annoyed if he was. But this whole thing of like he must start. Someone in the, on Twitter. One day we will we will Ahmad will see. What was it? One day you will be appreciated, Ahmad. Like 
you may have to leave Man United, but then that you'll get the, the, the playing time you deserve. I think, come on. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's a, a contentious one. Anthony's not been great. Ahmad obviously looked quite sharp. But I just think, like, it's not that obvious you have to start Ahmad over Anthony. I just... No. And the bench I'd is like so say, thin. Look how thin that bench yeah, is. Yeah, like I say, you want at least one option on your bench. And I know it might sound slightly contradictory because you're going, well, okay, you're saying that Anthony should start... And, but Anthony should start but if he was on the bench he wouldn't be a good option I'm not saying he should start I, yeah. I wouldn't start him but I'm saying if he if Anthony does start at the very least there's one player on that bench I think could cause far as problems when he comes off it and that's Ahmad Diallo so yeah. that's my, my sort of rationale behind it it's not a decision I would have made I can just I'm trying to put myself in Ten Hag's shoes and go maybe he's thinking like that um, Anthony though has got to step up because we've had this conversation all season. First, it was for Kondo Palestra. Then it was putting Garnacho on the right. Now it's, you know, that Diallo's the answer. The short and long of it is his Anthony hasn't been good enough. And he needs yeah. to step up seriously. Because, okay, we overpaid for him. And, you know, it's not his fault, the price tag. But he should still be able to do something for United other than yeah. when he plays against Newport County. So... He needs to step up today. So just when you go through that team, and this, and I don't mean this to be harsh, I'm not even going to single people out. There's a lot of people in that team, or certainly a handful of people in that team, you think shouldn't be really starting for United in 12 months. Go like, on, go on, go on. I'm, I'm not, I'm I, not I, Oh, no, no, I'm, I've, I've got juries out. Varane, I don't think, will be here in 12 months, and I think we should probably move on from someone of his age and of his profile that is, like I said the other day, play, players on the way down. United don't need that. Okay, you I can bring that. a couple of them in if you're, you're winning stuff and you just want someone to, to, you know, to help out with their experience, but Varane's on his way down as a player. You know, fact. Victor Lindhoff, I don't think he's good enough. Amrabat, I don't think he's good enough. McTominay, I don't think he's good enough. Casemiro's on his way down, yeah. which again is something I think when you rebuild and especially look at Arsenal, look at Liverpool, you have the foundation of maybe a couple of players who've been there a while, but you don't bring in 33, uh, 31, 32-year-olds and who have been at bigger clubs or more successful clubs in Real Madrid and expect them to still have the same motivation and legs and fitness that they did have. He, I don't think he'll be here in 12 months. I don't think Anthony will be here in 12 months. And, I mean, I, I would keep Rashford and obviously Garnacho, but the rest, and Bruno, but the rest of them, it, it's like, it's not obvious to say that they're all good enough. And I think literally four of them will definitely, Amrabat's going no matter what. I think Casemiro will go. I think Anthony will go. And I think Varane will go. And I think if we get an offer, McTominay will go. Yeah. And you look on the bench and, yeah, maybe, you know, Ahmad should be starting and Maynou's, you know, not part of the debate. But the rest of them aren't any better. So it's like these injuries are massive and the squad itself, I said this the other day, like, why are we so hurt when Martinez is injured? It's because we've only got one player like him. You know, like a, a well-built squad would have two or three players like that. Yeah. Like last season, why were we so hurt when Casemiro was injured? Because we've got one defensive midfielder. Why yeah. are we so hurt when Hoyland's injured? Because we've got one striker. I know Martial's at the club, but he's not. Like, That's we've got, got one way, player guys. in each position um, who's any good. And we go, well, you know, you can't blame injuries. But good teams have got two or three Martinez's. Yeah. Or, no. you know, two strikers, three or four midfield. Like, it's just not good enough, is it, really? No, it isn't. Just to give you a quick update as well, the, the draw is going on. Um, United are number five. United or Forest, straight out of the, the hat, is Wolves or Brighton both playing tonight as well. Um, Wolves or Brighton at home, that's a tough away ground to go to either yeah, way there. United struggle against Wolves and have never beaten Brighton since they came back up. Uh, and it's number seven, that's Coventry. Oh. So you'd expect and assume that you might get a Wolves or Brighton in the in the semi-final here and if not you're getting Coventry next up then it is number so five, five is home draw United. if we if we get past Forest obviously yeah home draw for United who we want in here we want Leicester really don't you uh, so we're looking for number three and it's number four Liverpool or Southampton oh bro a big stinking bro. draw there United will face if they beat Nottingham Forest will face either Liverpool or Southampton in the next round in the quarterfinal, number two is Chelsea Leeds, um, and they will be at home against City. Are going to get Leicester, aren't they? No. Number three, oh, Leicester. So it's so it's Manchester be... City versus Newcastle. Where's that going to be? That is it going to be at St James's Park? James's. Let's fingers crossed that this is number one we've seen here next, because it's Chelsea Leicester. And the next up is eight. So that's City, fucking uh, City at the Etihad for City. Newcastle. City are at home to Newcastle. They'll win that, won't they? No offence. So. If it's at St James's Park, I'd give them half a chance, but 
They fucked it there. Annoyingly. Mate, we've got to win tonight, man. We've got to win and we've got to beat the Scouts in the next round. Come yeah. on. Like, there's an extra added thing now. We've got the opportunity to just shut them up in the Klops last season. Clop the flop. So, oh, that's, add, that's adding more pressure to this game, hasn't it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's like, you, I won that. I won that game at Old Trafford against Liverpool. Yeah. Call me insane. But I do. I think I'd think would rather have had Leicester at home. Oh, yeah. Although they would have beat us because they're doing very well, aren't they? Know, it's you a know? big game. It's a big game that one, isn't it? No, let the City and Quarter Liverpool play each other. Against the Scousers at Old Trafford. Yeah. So, yeah, Manchester United will face... The, the irony is now, right? Liverpool or Southampton if we get through this. If tonight gets through this game and he wins it and yeah. he loses that one, he's going to be under more pressure probably than even he lost this one. You lose at home to the Scousers and in also loses, well. he loses badly, he's going to lose everyone. In terms of the, the supporters, like, yeah. this is, I can't watch this. This is horrible. These games, by the way, are on the 16th of March. So it's just over two weeks, um, 20 days or thereabouts. It's mad we've got Liverpool on the 16th of March because we always used to play him at Old Trafford around that time. Because it's Aki's birthday and it was always around his birthday we played Liverpool Old Trafford. That's weird. Yeah. Because so that's meant to be random, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, it's like it was always a thing around his birthday we played Liverpool and now it's happening again. If we win tonight. So there you go. Get us your thoughts in the comments. Get in the chat. What do you make of that? United will face Liverpool or Southampton if we beat Nottingham Forest. Uh, Buffy, whatever, says Southampton are a danger. Very nice. Um, Elmo Nacho. El, sorry, Elmo Chacho. Elmo Chacho. Three says, lads, at a certain point, Rashford has to be dropped. For who? who? We ain't got anyone else. I agree. I wouldn't have dropped him now, but I think at the start of the season, he could have done with it. But we ain't got anyone. It's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? No, it's it's one of the weakest squads I've ever seen at Old Trafford. I know we're not at Old Trafford tonight, but as, at United. Yeah. Like, genuinely. And I don't mean that to be dismissive of some of these young players. I, I wish them all the best and I hope they are as good as we think they could be. But in terms of quality, in terms of players you know are at a level you need them to be at, we have probably got, as you just said there, Half that first team is not going to be around much longer, and nor should it be. And then on that bench, there's, there's several players that probably won't even make it. Do you know what? Genuinely, United. the only person on that bench who's guaranteed to be here in 18 months' time is Kobe Maynard. That's the only one. I, I, you could make a strong argument. Just And this isn't an anti Cambuala or Collier thing. Literally, just the odds of academy players making it know. in the first team yeah. are so slim. I've, I've sat, you know, I've and we sat haven't here, seen him. Or I've sat all traffic, yeah. I've sat in my house or whatever, and gone, oh, yeah. Paddy McNair, did you see him today? Yeah. He was min. He's going to make it. Adnan yeah. Yanazai, he was mustard. He'll make it. Kiko Makeda, are you daft? He just scored the winner that's won us the title. He's going to make it. The, Terry Cook, he's just absolutely won us the FA Youth Cup and smashed it on his debut. There's loads of players that you think are going to make it who don't. Yeah. Loads. And they have good debuts or good spells. Tyler Blackett's another one. Yeah, exactly. You know, even Cameron Borthwick Jackson, who became a bit of a figure good. of fun. When he started, it was great. He you was. can have players that come in, do well, and for whatever reason, just aren't quite the levels you need yeah. to play for Manchester United. And, that, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying they will be gone. I'm saying the only one of them lot in that that bench that I can guarantee will still be at United, let's say, at the start of 2026, just, to, you know, is, is, is Kobe Maynard, if he wants you, to be. You're right. I mean, like, Kambala looks good, but so did Axel Tuanzebe. He yeah, looks you amazing. Don't know yet, do you? Like, you just don't know. So I, I completely hear you, bro. And I'm not trying to be melodramatic, and I'm not trying to overly criticised this team and this squad I'm just being honest with you yeah. and you might disagree you might go oh no Jay do you remember this squad or whatever but I've been supporting United since before the third year and I can't remember off the top of my head a sort of a squad that's available that's as as weak as the one we've got available at the minute I yeah. think there's a massive massive job in hand for Ineos when they start bringing in players because yes we're missing Martinez we're missing Hoyland we're missing Mason Mount um, we're missing Luke Shaw and um, Aaron wan so there's obviously a lot of players we're missing but there's still a lot of players that need replacing there is yeah. I just want to go through some, through some transfers as well because I do feel as though like looking at that squad and, and where we've gone wrong and uh, to be fair I think the main one that stands out obviously is Antonio uh, we've, we've been over it enough that I think that's enough to say about it in terms of it being I'm a, glad a you said that, over, yeah. we, we made our point but if you look at the play, the people we've brought in since Ten Hag arrived. So we've got Bayende, which you know is a second choice keeper, five million euros. It's almost you know, not part of the conversation. So you've got Jen Evans on a free transfer. You've got Regulon on a fr on a on a loan. You've got um, who else have we got? So we've got Sofiane Amrabat on a loan. 
we've got Onana for 50 million, Mount for 50 million, uh, 60 million, um, and Hoyland for 70 million. So, and, and then last season, obviously under 10 arguments, Anthony for 95, that's the one that stands out. Casemiro, Martinez. Then Malassi was a second choice. Then we've got Vegorst, Dubravka, Eriksson, Sabitza. And you, like, it's almost like half and half, loan or free, and sort of paid players. And you're like, I, d- I feel like most teams don't do that. No. I feel like because of the money we spent on the likes of Anthony and Casemiro, it means that when we're getting players in on loan or relying on, on, on free transfers, and you think like, City aren't doing that. City squad isn't packed full of free transfers and loans, is it? No. Like ours is just like, do you know, I, I, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with like looking at the floor and picking up like one P's and two P's and five P's. You know, when you're like out shopping with your mum and you're bored as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I just made it my mission to try and find like 50 P's worth of Bro, shit. I still do that now, Sam's and I've got three, yeah. three kids to feed. But that's like United's transfer policy. Like, what little freebies can we pick up as we're just walking about? Because I've know, wasted all my money on, the, on smack. The mad thing is, as well. <laughs> We've all been there, Joseph. Um, <laughs> like, last January, he kind of made it work, didn't he, Tanag, with Sabitza and Vegas at first. At first, people going, okay, two free transfers or two loan moves yeah. that can do a job and, and can, you know, Help the team. So Bits has come from Bayern Munich, very you know good player. You can see his quality on the ball just from his debut. Vergost gets a, puts it about a bit, physical, bets the best out of Marcus, whatever. But that policy cost us dearly because I think had we had better options in January, we might have won the FA Cup. Yeah, like we might have because okay, you can argue you didn't know Sabitz was going to get injured. No, you didn't. But also. It wasn't like he was the main target we wanted. Oh, let's go out and get Marcel Sabitzer. Volt Vegos didn't score a Premier League goal. Mm. Like, what's that tell you? Like, the guy had been at Burnley, and Burnley had gone, we don't need you, you can go to Besiktas, and we brought him into Manchester United. Those decisions and that policy and that sort of trait cost you. You've got to pack it in. You can't keep doing it because you just end up with players that aren't good enough. And it's like Sofian Amrabat. I didn't know anything about him, really. I'd seen a little bit of him in the Europa Conference when they played West Ham. I'd seen a little bit of him for Morocco. He looked all right, but people acted like he was the saviour to all our problems, and he isn't. This was a, something that I hadn't planned on bringing up, right? And this, this is me looking at that squad and just thinking, actually, these free transfers and loan. When do you think the last time Manchester City brought in a player on loan or for free that played as part of the first team? Because they've had like people like Scott Carson who may have played games here and there, but he's a backup. Like, when do you think they had a free transfer or a loan that started regularly for them, like we've seen with Vegos, with Sabitzer, with Amrabat, um, with Ericsson. Uh, who else have we brought in? I mentioned a couple before. Anyway, we, Evans is another one. Comes in and plays pretty regularly. When's the last time City had a player that came in, either a loan or a free transfer, that played regularly? It's a very good question, this. A loan or a free transfer that played regularly yep. for them. So... I'm going to say um, Paul Walsh in 1994. Well, see, Before I'm saying... Before anyone starts, I don't even know if it was a free chance, but they might have paid for him. Bakary Sanya, fucking 10 years ago. They got oh, him in 2014, Bakary Sanya, and he played 16 appearances one year, 45 the one after that, 25 after that. Since then, every single one of their transfers has been, we like him, we'll buy him, we'll play him. None of this, like, desperate, oh, what are we going to do? Let's get a loan in. Let's get a free transfer. It's been a fucking decade. There was a, the, the, there was a, a, a documentary, and if you can ever find it, watch it, because it's amazing. When Peter Reid was at Sunderland, just ignored a bit where the Beatles. And it, it's, the, it's a flying world documentary, following him around for a season. And, and our plot spoiler, they get relegated. Um, and what him and his um, assistant manager are doing, because this is how old it is, this is before the internet, that... In the Rothman's yearbooks. What's that? It's a book. It's like an encyclopedia of players. And they've got the books out and they're going through lists to see players <laughs> and their goal. Because all you can see on this list is like, you can't see how good they are, no. but you can see the goals they've scored. So they're looking for a striker and they're both stood in the, the office and like this. And they find like this player who's in like the Bulgarian second division and they're going like, oh, he scored like every other game. Like, let's get him. In. They get him and he fails his medical. Like, it's, 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 it's ridiculous. <laughs> Like, and this is a Premier League club as well, by the way. This is Sunderland in the Premier League. But that's what it feels like United are doing. Yeah. They're just going on Google now, because obviously it's modern day, and going, who's available for a free transfer? Oh, I'll tell you what, Sabitzer's not playing. Get him. 
Vegos is at Besiktas, but don't worry, I know someone at Burnley will be able to sort out game. Yeah. Oh, we, we, Amrabat really wants to come to United. Oh, we'll, we'll get him then. Yeah. Like, well, we don't really need. He's not that good. We'll, we'll get him on a free. Just don't get him. We'll that. get him on a loan. Like, it's insane. It is it's insane, isn't it? And I didn't realise it would be would be like th that bad. And, and 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 obviously, it's not necessarily. I, I'm going to put that loads. on my gravestone. Yeah. I didn't realise this would be that bad. Yeah, we didn't re like. There's not necessarily if you're free or alone, then you're shit. I don't mean, I don't mean to say that. I think Christian Eriksen as well. Of those people we've mentioned, was very good for United last season. But this thing of it's not that it's our choice. We have to do this. We had to, we wanted to buy Amrabat, which I'm glad we didn't, but we wanted to buy Amrabat, but we couldn't because we ran out of money. We couldn't get a striker or a midfielder last January because we ran out of money. Like this is what I'm talking about when, we, when, when you're talking about the manager with having his hands tied behind his back. Not only is he not getting his first choices, we can't even get players that cost a few million quid because we've run out of cash, because we spent all the money on players who aren't good enough, because we cannot negotiate, all right. we cannot scout p better options. I agree with everything you said to a degree, but I know what people were saying in the comments without even reading him, so Go I'm going to say it for him. He did buy Mason Mount. Now, no, I'm not talking about the injury, you don't know a player's going to get injury, injured, but he took that sort of punt, didn't he, that I'm going to spend 60 million on a position I probably don't necessarily need a player in at the expense of maybe bringing in another striker. Is it not his fault to a degree? I'm not saying that he's completely without fault. And obviously, yeah. I'm sure he was saying, just get Anthony, I don't care what it costs. Yeah, no, I, I hear sure that. that same, it's like when, I don't think Casemiro's necessarily his target, but if you get offered Casemiro or no one, you're gonna take Casemiro, are you? Especially yeah. when you've just lost four nil away at Brentford. Of course. So I understand like, he wanted Rabio, I think, didn't he? And we couldn't yeah. get him. I so I understand like getting offered players or getting players, it's either you get him for this or you don't get him. Yeah. I understand that. I just feel that, He's probably been a little bit short-sighted with some of his decisions as well. I do. I, I, I think, think it's it's a bit of both. I do think it's slightly harsh to criticise him for the amount signing though, because I, we don't know what the plan was. Right, okay. We've never we've never been able to see I'm, what his I'm, plan I'm for sorry, Mount was. I'm probably thinking of because I remember doing a video with Steve where I was like, I wasn't too fussed about Mount. I thought he was all right. But yeah. Like, no, it was one of them for me. It's almost like a take it or leave it signing. Yeah. Now, I, I get it if you're like, look, we had this plan, he's get, he got injured or whatever. But I, my only sort of slight question around that is, if you, unless there wasn't a conversation, if you know that that was like, you know, you've only got this limited budget and you s spent 60 million on Mount in a position where you were willing to gamble that you could just get away with Hoyland and Marshall, that's yeah. the only reason I think was a bit of a, yeah. bit of a, bit naive, I think to do that yeah. because I think you're then relying on a player who's never played in the Premier League um, and has only played what three seasons in, in his career yeah. um, and another player who you know for a fact is very very injury prone yeah. and to the he point plays, where he's not yeah. amazing no that was the only one where I go that was yeah, I get that. naive with, but it almost, with the, the, it's, it's, it's almost I agree with you but then there's part of me that thinks well we saw Mount, Mount first so we obviously thought we could get two strike. Like I don't know what I don't know how it even unfolded like that. I don't. It doesn't make much sense, no, it does it? Doesn't. Because you think, okay, what was your budget? What were you yeah. told you'd have? So you bought Mount. Then you wanted to buy Onana. That was obvious. Then you wanted to, you know, buy, buy Hoyland, right? Sound. So what? What did you think? What else did you think you were doing? Like, yeah. What was your? What was the plan? Yeah. Um, just Captain Barr in the comments says, "What a crap lineup." Goodbye, Ten Hag. If we lose, it's his own fault. Good riddance. Who would you play of the people who are fit? What difference would you do? What Obviously, the obvious that one is is maybe Ahmad. But who who are you playing? Who are you just going to get fucking Luis Figo on the right wing to replace Anthony? I mean, like no offense, but other than Mainu, who is definitely better than the person that's <laughs> playing instead of him? Is there anyone? No, like you said, we've, we wanted Dial to start, but he's not. But it's not like the the end of the world. Um, everything else is debatable. Like Manu, obviously, yeah, of course he's better than than the somebody midfield. I'm not saying he's not, but I think that might be a little bit of rotation, or whatever, for the derby. I hope it is. I hope this isn't the midfield I see for the derby. Otherwise, I will lose my marbles. Yeah. Um, let's get an expert opinion on this. Let's get a man who's been there, done that, and worn a t-shirt. Your friend of mine, Mr. Ronaldo Brown. Ronnie. What well, a United t-shirt. Well, yeah, I've, 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 you've worn 80s. Yeah, I've worn, I've worn them to the park a couple of times. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's that's, that's yeah. good enough for me. Um, you've seen the lineup. You've seen the team. You've seen it. You've loved it. You've seen it. All. You've lived it. You've, you've loved a lot. It. You've, yeah, you're you, Man you, United, you, you've and you're it. never going to stop. Yeah. Um, what do you make of it? Um, other than the obvious ones in terms of probably Anthony starting right wing, um, I kind of 
start I started to appreciate um, him not playing uh, as much. But uh, so obviously, other than him, probably obviously Amrabat left back is a bit of a concern, especially against Santi Olanga and obviously his pace and directness. And then you've got McTominay who we've seen works best as someone almost as a desperate last five minute option where we need a goal and need to crash the box as a second striker but other than that he doesn't offer too much when he starts especially in a double pivot like that agreed um bruno fernandez is obviously a concern before the game in terms of his injury concern but obviously it's good to see he's, he's pretty much iron man and he's playing but i, I just thought i'd have liked to have seen ahmad instead yeah. i know he came on and it wasn't, like, he, it wasn't like his cameo was like amazing but i saw i saw glimpses of, of the quality he brings in terms of of his technical ability and he, he looked like he could i feel like we almost looked a bit more balanced in an ex to an extent when he did come on yeah um and i thought he if he was willing to give forson a start i feel like he should be willing to give ahmad a start in my opinion it's almost like when you send players out on loan to teams you're looking for them to like progress and grow and do well and they should be rewarded with at least some opportunity when they do come back I know he's been injured but I feel like he's not been given that do you know what I mean to do as well as he did in the championship last season do you think there's any weight in the argument that just trying to put myself in Ten shoes because I, I think everyone we've all Joe said it I've said it you've said it we would have preferred to have seen Diallo start and I get that do you think maybe he's looking at him as a, that is an option from the bench that can do something or do you think it should nah, just nah, be a it should be, you shouldn't look at it like that, he, I think. He shouldn't. Um, I mean, man, you over, might, you over, over, I'm just wondering whether he is. Other than politics, Anthony costing 80, 85 million and, I don't know, experience maybe. There's no, there's literal, literally no reason why So you why think it start. might be one of those things you said then? It might be like, I've spent it, I've got to play him at some point. That that definitely exists in football. Yeah, for no, the, For no. the most part. That worries I mean? me so, not, because nah, like, I was actually it, impressed with the way Tanag hadn't done that, you know, recently. He'd gone. No, I'm not playing him. I don't care if I've got injuries. Even now, but if he's going, back he just to comes. Really I think. I think what it boils down to is um, Ten Hag just doesn't rate Ahmad Diallo. That that's literally how I'm I'm viewing it. It must be that I can't see. It, I mean? it, it can't be anything else, really, can it? United f managers have preferences. Yeah. For, um, and unfortunately, it looks like he just doesn't um, rate Ahmad Diallo because we could get a new manager in that just, just really likes him that's just how football works like sometimes people's literal footballing careers are shaped by that Yeah, it's a manager coming into a club and not and liking one player and liking a certain player more especially when they're young players trying to break in that can be literally career defining do you know well, what I mean we've seen, so, we've seen it we've seen it a lot you know don't we new managers like you saw it when it was like you know Oli didn't want Fellaini or yeah. Sanchez or whatever and, and Jose had brought them in and you know used them so yeah. it happens quite a lot doesn't it and but yeah maybe there is an element I think you said it as well that Nathan Ellington who's been on the channel a lot yeah. obviously he's played in the Premier League played loads in the Championship scored against United very good goal scorer and he said you know he had managers where he'd come in and then the manager changed straight away and the new one even when he played he might score but he just they just didn't get on, didn't like him, didn't play him. So maybe it is a situation like Another that, thing that concerns me about Rashford, I think Rashford's only good up front when we're playing against teams that we're definitely on the back foot. But then again, I'm saying that like we didn't have um, less possession than Luton the other day and kind of did something similar. But when we're up front against a team that we'll probably have more of the ball, he doesn't have as much space. I think the way like he doesn't really play as well back to goal. I don't think there'd be space, much space for him to run in behind either. Um, and also I think Hoyland's one of those where Hoyland wasn't getting service and he wasn't getting much of the ball but it was almost like his tenacity and his work rate and his his one-two that he shows anyway that was getting him still some opportunities and yeah. goal I don't know whether Rashford has that mentality so my concern is Rashford doesn't get the, won't get the same won't get service the same way that Hoyland does mm. and it's almost like well, you'll have a passenger then because from what we've seen in recent times Rashford's reaction to adversity isn't great. He won't have like that, he, you know what I mean? that like, I feel desire like he, to make up for it the yeah, way I feel like, does. Yeah, he, he won't. I think if he doesn't get the ball within much within the first 20, 25 minutes, you, you'll you see his, his shoulders drop and he starts to strop and he talks. And then that, and that's one of my concerns as well. Do you know what I mean? Cause no, I, hear, I hear you on that front. And it's, it's such a worry over Marcus Rashford recently, especially. Because now we're looking at him more and turning to him more yeah. with Rasmus Hoyland's injuries. 
and everything that Ronnie said, you, you, everyone keeps saying it. Everyone I speak to says the same things about Marcus. Mm. It's not like it's just a minority opinion. It's like he looks like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. He looks yeah. like he don't want to be here. He, he looks, looks stressed. Yeah. He looks pissed off. Yeah. And yeah. he doesn't do the things you need him to do. And it's like, you can't. I love Marcus Rush, but you can't keep ignoring him, sending everything's rosy, because it ain't. Um, should we talk about the Forest teams? I don't think we've mentioned it yet, have we? Unless I'm no, we forgetting. No, we have um, you can see it on the screen there, but I'll, yeah. I'll bring it up as well so we can make sure it doesn't go away because that's going to rotate away in a second. Um, so Forest team tonight then, uh, we've got, where are we? Bloody hell. They don't release it as an image, which isn't like unusual. One second. Don't tell me they've not put it out on Twitter. No, it's not. Oh, no, here we go. Turner, Williams. Uh, what? Right. Just, if anyone can say, what benefit does anyone get from teams putting their starting eleven out in number order and not in position order, because no one on earth goes, oh yeah, but uh, what? I don't care what position he's playing. What number is he? No, it doesn't. F it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we've got Turner, Williams, Awanye, uh, Gibbs, White, Toffolo, Philippe, uh, Alanga, Yates, Arigi, Danilo, and Murillo. Which, uh, uh, Danilo. I've, I've, anyway, I almost. I don't even know what position that they're, they're playing in. To be honest, it looks better on ours. That's better look. So you can see the back four there. Um, yeah, I just some decent players in there, obviously. A one you was dangerous against United, I thought, earlier in the season. We know Alanga's level, which is sporadic and maybe not top quality, but he's got certain attributes. And we saw the goal against Atletico Madrid. Maybe he scuffed it, but the speed, the, the running in behind, the willingness, he's certainly got all of those things. That what was, do you make of the rest of that team? That was the highlight of the Ralph Ragnick era, yeah. that equaliser um, in Madrid. He loved the Langa, didn't it, Ragnick? Yeah, he and did, it was didn't literally he? all he did, didn't he? He just loved him, no matter what. He did. He was he, his guy. It, think Ragnick came in and loved Alanga and he, he didn't seem to fancy Rashford too no, much, didn't he? He didn't, did he? He was like desperate to play Alanga ahead of him. A, I wonder if it was a, a work rate thing. Because I think if you're looking at, is there anything that Anthony Langer is better at than Rashford? And if there is, because there's very few things, it might be that willingness to, to, to work hard. There might have been and, a little and, bit of Ronnie likes through. him as well. I don't mean our Ronnie. I mean, and that, that might have influenced Ragnar. I think them two play well together yeah. because Alanga does the things that Ronnie likes him doing where Rashford's doing his own thing. So I don't know, but you're right. Either way, Ragnar loved him because he played him every week. And also, even when I felt sorry for Alanga because he fell off a bit of a cliff, didn't he? His fall. But he just kept getting picked every week anyway. Mm, um, yeah. They've got a lot of players there that can hurt you. Yeah, Gibbs White is. is yeah, well, we saw that, didn't we? Earlier when we played them. Like, <laughs> they're not a bad team. They're capable of, if they turn up, of hurting you. Yeah, got Even Divock Origi. Yeah. You know. When, he, when, he, when he's on songs, he can Christ. be decent. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, I think that front four of Gibbs White, Alanga, and Awanyi and Origi have got enough in it to, to, to cause problems. Even from just a physicality standpoint as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Which is something that we struggle against. Um, yeah, the pace of um, of Elanga up against. I don't. Uh, do you know what? I ain't gonna lie to you. Right? I don't think I've ever been this scared facing a Forest team yeah. since not since Mark Robbins got the winner against them yeah. in ninety nine. It's a decent balance as well because Gibbs White is, I think, good on the ball, quite sort of skillful player. Then you've got Origi who has got a head on him. He's yeah. been there, done that. You know all that. You've got one who's just a brick. Who's horrible to play against? Yeah, he's just a, awkward to he's play against. He's, and he's so strong, like he's got no neck. He's just fucking there. And then you've got Alanga obviously stretching his legs on the on the wing. It's quite a well-rounded attacking lineup that with some brains and a bit of brawn in it as well. It is a bit scary, isn't it? it to is. say that where are they like 18th or something? Why I'm am I no, scared of that? Like, people will be going, oh, what you're about it's only fun. But be honest, be realistic about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now Gibbs White is a 45 million pound player though. So Do you know what I mean? mean he, that's not, how much that it, that they bought him for. And to be fair, he has played like it. He, he's every time I watch Forest, he's, he's by far their best player. He's a good player, and and, that, and in that number ten position that he plays in, where he gets to roam, the there is a concern about him against Casemiro if he's isolated. Because one thing Gibbs White is good at, over the, well, being having the physical traits and being quick and skillful, mm. is the ability to beat a man. Yeah. And yeah. I think if he picks it up, and he's gonna fancy himself against Casemiro, especially if he is exposed as he has been in that single pivot. Do you know what Forest as well? They've had two games against us this season. They beat us at their ground. And at our ground, they were winning after five minutes 2-0. And then, right, they went down to 10 men. Because it was Yates who got sent off. Or I can't remember who got sent off. It was a skipper. Yeah. Um, there was nine minutes of added time, right? And we were hanging on. Yeah. 
we were hanging on for, for dear life to get that win. They were at us, even though they were that 10 main, even though it was at Old Trafford, they were on us, bro. And I was like, and then the referee handed another two minutes. And I was like, what's going on here? It was, it was embarrassing. After 10 minutes or something. I can't they would, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. They scored straight away. I, I sat with McCall for that game and he was late, shock. And by the time he got in here, we were 2-0 down. And um, Do you know what we had to sort of, we, we rallied. We got, obviously, we got the, you know, back in it and we were leading, but we were hanging on. And then at their ground, they won. So they've had two games against us. My point is they played us twice this season and both times they've done well against us. No, it's yeah. a concern as well. They don't, it, there isn't really extra time anymore in at this at this level of FA Cup or is there? Or is yeah, it's, the it's extra time and penalties now. Jo that's so that's why the bench is also something you look know. at. And United's bench isn't that strong. If you look at Forrest's bench, Forrest's bench is stronger than ours. Well, if you look at it, though, obviously there's some Do decent I mean? players so in there. I mean, worth a few at Scrabble, them lot, aren't they? Because even I've got, you, you see Rain on the bench. Well, Ray, Ray on the bench, he was the he was meant to be like a, the American wonder kid at yeah. Dortmund that he's on loan at Forest. He's definitely got quality. Um, Hudson Adoy is there, man. Hudson Adoy, who, 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 who is who's similar to Jalen Sancho. They were like, when Hudson Adoy was an academy player, it was like the best academy player yeah, anyone's yeah. ever seen. Like at that level, he was like overworldly. Everyone raved about him. Do you know what him, I mean? Yeah. And then I think injuries have partly derailed him as well. Yeah. But um, he still he, has the better he, ability. He suffered. He's mind you made to mention him like Sancho as well. He suffered a bit when he was too cool. Do you remember like Tuchel going yeah. on and then took him off again? And was playing yeah. a wing back. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. Playing a wing back. Took yeah. him off after 10 minutes. He's like, what are you doing? And he's yeah. like, well, he wasn't good enough. Like, right. Do you know, uh, isn't it weird that it's all the wing back managers the ones who like players proper fall out with? Yeah. If you're a wing back type of manager, because you end up bringing, coming in and start putting people like Hudson and at <laughs> wing back. Like, can you imagine someone coming in and asking Rashford to play wing back now? It's not fucking happening. Yeah, is it? it's it, just not. He was, right, he was right about the forest bench, innit? I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm, look, I'm thinking, is that the most characters ever on a, that you can possibly it's, have? It's that's what I just said. Like, yeah. Is it, it's like, if you put first names in there as well, hey, it's pretty good. That'll cost you a few quid, wouldn't it, if you was getting the names on the back of the shirt? <laughs> hey. Is it Giovanni Reina? Yeah, yeah. And then you've got Cheku Kuyate. No, good, these are these are good players. These, and they this are. feels like these Kuyate's are the type of players player. that might have a little bit of a point to prove. They've all, you know, what I mean, they're up for I just it. think I just worried about them come, like the game being tight and possibly going, and it being stretched towards the end of the game. They've got the likes of Hudson Odoi and Rayner to call on to come on that can add a bit of like energy and and, and and quality and speed. And then I'm looking at us and I'm thinking, have we got that? Do you know what I mean? And I don't even want to... Uh, there's some players I don't know on, on Forrest's bench and that's a concern for me because we... I think United are definitely one of them clubs where we watch we watch them week in, week out and we see no names, supposed no names, come on and play well against us. Like, I didn't really know much. I heard that he was in form, but I didn't know much about Muniz before no, I got no. Fulham. And he was, was, he was a problem. You mentioned it, didn't you, yeah. the podcast? He was a problem against someone us. else said to me, he was that kid, but Fulham had like, he was mint. Yeah. Like, well, he, he was good, but also we were terrible, which helps. Yeah. yeah. Um, hit like on the video as well. Over 3,000 people watching and under 300 likes. Let's get to 1,000 likes before kickoff. I'm going to go through some super chats. Ben Hoodart says, bring on United. Sat, sat in the Forest End tonight with my dad, who supports them. Last time he watched United versus Forest was live at uh, live was the 8-1 back in 99. So he's a Forest fan and his uh, son is a United fan. Very interesting indeed. Um, Danny Shields says, advocating for radical positivity for the rest of the season. Are you a not Just young pure boy? reality denying three he, little he birds nonsense to keep us sane. Completely agree. You are? So are you a not boy? Uh, I'm from Nottinghamshire, but it's like... He's from a little village oh. near the it's, 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 it's like... You're a suburban close, kid. Close to, no, it's not. It's not... Do you know like it's Sheffield's the closest? Do you know set. when you go on holiday and yeah, you yeah. meet someone from like Oldham and you'll go away from the go Manchester? Every, yeah, that's yeah. And they'll go away about some Manchester go like Oldham and like, but then because we know Manchester, we'll be like, well, that's not really Manchester. But they go and tell people yeah, from abroad that's what they're from. So what do I that's say? What fucking hell, who's done Wayne Rooney's makeup? Joe, Jesus one. fucking Christ! It looks like he's got fucking carotene poisoning. Can't stay off TV now, isn't it? Look at him. He loves it, Wayne Rooney, don't he? <laughs> it looks like he's been scotch egged. Let's have a look. No, oh, no, they're about to go to nah, Jermaine Genius. I've just seen Wayne Rooney's head. Oh, mate. Genius is made Genius, but what Spot on. Perfect. They've Face done well, and neck done match. To be fair, they've done well getting Jermaine Genius. Love to go on a night out with Genius and, Genius and Rooney. Also, I don't say I'm from Nottingham. If I yeah, ever you had to do. say anything. Yeah, you no, do. No, because you, you don't even. Yeah. Subject. You, you don't even like, let me finish. Oh, I'm from I know. If I had to say anything, I'd say near Sheffield. I wouldn't say Nottingham. I've got a Sheffield postcode, man. At least Nottingham have won the European Cup twice. Yeah, but Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah. Of course, there's Arthur Lowell on their badge. Can't say that about it. No, you know, I couldn't. I couldn't have said what you said though about Rooney. Fuck it, you know. 
Look yeah, at it. Seeing what he looked like. <laughs> it, no, the makeup is bad, isn't it? No, it looks. No, not, no look listen. at his neck. What have they done? Why have they done this to him? They've, this is one of England's greatest fucking players of all time. To be go, fair, they have, he looks all right, man. They give him a couple of years back. They've, they, have, they have proper Donald Trumps him now, haven't they? They Donald Trump the fuck out, out of him. him. Oh, Ain't God. One of England's greatest, if not England's greatest ever footballer. And you've let him down there. Oh, fuck's sake. Sorry, yeah. Wayne. It's not his I fault. I would have done that. It's not his fault. See, why do Lineker and Genus look fine? Because the BBC is stitching his up and that. <laughs> the 89. They do. Fucking hey. hell! Someone said Rooney looks like Steve Housen. Can't I can't unsee. <laughs> Except Steve's got maybe the best hairline I've ever seen in my entire life. But other than that, I don't disagree. Um, Jason Castro <laughs> says the best hairline. Have you, he has got a proper thick head of hair on his head, and his hairline comes down to there. Like, his his hairline proper. can smell his eyebrows. Strong beard, strong hair, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, um, he's done well for himself. Fol <laughs> follicularly, top notch. Follicularly blessed. Um, Jason Castro says we have about eight players <laughs> that should definitely be here it's next season. Well uh, this squad and bench are almost uh, completely second or third choice, and folks are still blaming Ten Hag. Who would do better hey. up the effing P? We're, Actually, we're, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna hear from Ronnie a little bit later. Before you go, Ronaldo, no, you go and get a scram. What you been mean for? Can, nah, for, can you get a score prediction? We're fucking paying him. What's a prediction? Can we have a score prediction, please? <laughs> nah, before I'm, you fuck off. I'm a, I'm a volunteer, by the way. He's lying. That's, That's not true. We don't pay Ronnie. That's insane. You've been paying him. <laughs> Fucking hell, right, we'll talk about this off camera, no, both of you. Sorry, sorry, Ronaldo. Can we get a score prediction, please? Um, I, I'm going to go... I think I think it's going to go to Pence. I can't! I, think I can't! United love giving us a stressful game. I know! So I, think be, I think I can see it. I can see it being level at full time. So... Oh, what are you saying gonna then? 1-1, 2-2, 0-0? Um... I think it's going to be 2-2. Are we going to win on pens? I think there's goals in this. Will we win on pens? I don't know. Ah, right, okay. Fair enough. I don't, I'm scared. All right, Sam. We don't know. So I'm here. Right. People in the comments are getting the score predictions in. Get your score predictions in. Thank you, Ronaldo. We'll be hearing from Ronaldo, Ronaldo at half time. Thank you, my brother. Uh, he can analyse what is hopefully going to be one of United's best performances of the season so far. But with the change in squad and the change team and stuff, I can't imagine we're going to see a top-class performance. Can you? Can you see a world where we see a... Maybe not radically different, but just a, a an improved Manchester United. It's doubtful looking at that team, looking at what's been going on recently. Just missing those those two in Hoyland and Miners are so important to us that without him, I, I fear the worst. But we'll see. I mean, I'm hoping that what's gone on over the last sort of four days since we lost to Fulham has hurt the players because they've been getting hammered in the press. The media's been hammering him. Pundits have been hammering him. The manager's been getting pellers. If you've got that pride, you might be like, hang on a minute. You know what? We're not having this. Let's turn up and show everyone what we're about. Especially when you look at the plaudits that the likes of Liverpool and City are getting. So I'm hoping, maybe it's more just hope than expectation, that United remind everyone that if you are playing for Manchester United, and you, you know, it's because you're playing for one of the biggest clubs in the world. So yeah. let's go out there and show it. Uh, it says United could lose... Back to back for, uh, games at for, against Forest for the first time. Did it say ever that? Oh, sorry, the I last that. word disappeared as I was. Reading. I know. I, I can't. I can't believe in the, in the Clough era we didn't lose back to back games against Forest. We must have done because there was yeah. there was times in the eighties where Forest were like, and in the seventies where they were regularly near the top end of the table, yeah. and United were very much up and down. Well, so poor. yeah, so I would be surprised if we'd never lost back to back um, games. We have got. There's some big cup games we've had against Forest yeah. where we've won. We beat them in the 92 uh, Rumbelow's Cup final, I think it was, when mm. Chucky got the winner. Um, we beat them in the... Is that, that's not the only one. There was another one I was going to say. Now I completely forgot. When did we beat Forest? There's not, not another cup game against Forest that I'm forgetting. Or have I just made that up and is it just that one? Oh, the Matt Robbins one. The Fergie one. Of where we had that's the other one I was thinking. Sorry, forgive me. Where we had to win to save Fergie's job, even though everyone says we didn't now, but at the time everyone thought we did. And we did. So there's been a couple of big cup games against Nottingham Forest. And in terms of Ten Hag's future, this could be up there with him. Yeah, just on that then. Like, this is obviously a big game and, and Ten Hag, if he loses, that might expedite things. But do you think his future is still up for saving, if you know what I mean? Do you think, let's say that so far, in else have come in and gone, we're probably going to need to replace this guy. Do you think he can still save it? Or do you think it's sort of the decision has been made one way or the other and he's not changing it now. I think he can still save it, but I think it's going to take something 
a little bit special compared to what we've seen recently to do that. Yeah. I think if we were to win the FA Cup, for example, I think that might do it for him. I just think that's going to be hard because obviously you've still got some mad teams in it. And that would mean, obviously, we'd have to win tonight and have to beat Liverpool in the next round and eventually probably play City and beat them. Also, I think if he gets Champions League football, that would mean that the last end, the back end of this season, we've been on a run because we're so far off the pace that to get Champions League football now would mean we'd won like nine of our last ten games or whatever. So, if those two things happen, I think there's a possibility that the, the new owners could go, look, he's shown us enough for us to give him a, a chance under the new structure. But... It's not going to be easy because the, the things I've mentioned, getting in Champions League football and winning and or winning the FA Cup, or even both, yeah. you've got to beat some big, big teams along the way. Um, Lee Elliott says, "Think your lineup is wrong, lads. Which which one? Can we can we get this rotating again as well? Um, what's what's wrong? Let us know." Um, Got a couple more super chats. Uh, Callum Bryant says, "Am I mad for wanting Oli back as part of the?" We got Manu staff? in the team now. He's not in the team, yeah, is there it? There we go. We've got um, him in the team and on the bench. That's how good he is. That's how good he is. He can, he can, well, he literally covers every blade of grass and yeah. every seat. Yeah. Um, uh, he said, I'm a mad for wanting Ollie back even as part of the coaching staff. I miss the attitude we had going into games like this under him. Um, no. You can't have him back as a coaching staff. You can't bring a manager, a former manager back. If you bring him back, you've got to make him the manager. And I don't think that's the way forward. I love Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer, right? My favourite time as a United fan post Fergie was under Ollie. Because we might not have won anything, but we had some so many good moments and that sort of sense that we were almost like it was back being United again. Yeah. Um, but I'm sorry, I just I just don't think that's the right move, bringing him back to the club. I think you either bring him back as manager or not at all. <coughs> and if you really and truly want to move forward, I don't think the manager that left us for Eric Tanag or for Ralph Radnick, I should say, is, is the answer. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, Robert Wilhelm says, I believe Ten Hag is a top-tier manager, but the United culture has ruined many managers in the past. Sad to see another good manager go like this. Do you know what we saw from him at, at Ajax? Obviously, we, I've talked about it on the podcast a little bit. Let's imagine he went, instead of going from Ajax to Man United, he went from Ajax to... Maybe City is a bad example because of how difficult Pep might be to replace. But let's say he went from... Uh, Ajax to Arsenal when he joined United let's say Te Arteta got sacked in that bad run of form he had uh, they sacked him and they brought Ten Hag in do you think he would look like he doesn't have a style of play he would look like this sort of clueless kind of person that, you know these things that have been thrown at him and that he's been accused of at United or do you think he would have been able to do different things with a team with a bit more optimism and positivity and maybe a different culture or let's say Dortmund or, you know what I mean someone that isn't United yeah I think um Dort, I think he would have. I think he would have struggled anyway at, at, at Arsenal. But I get your point. Like Dortmund, yeah, maybe that would have been a more of a, a sort of a organic transition. He would yeah. have gone to another club where Ajax have got this style. Dortmund have got a, you know a, a kind of style where there's and also there's not as much pressure and you can continue that there. That could have made sense. But I just feel with with United that maybe there's been a little bit of short termism with him in terms of his thinking in terms of why he's gone the way he has with his style. And I go back to the Liverpool game at Old Trafford last season, where after that Brentford game, it was all about, we're playing out the back and this is what we're going to try to do. And for Liverpool, we just abandoned that. Because mm. it was like, we've got to get a win here. And you just saw David De Gea hoofing it long and we sort of counter-attacked a lot. And we got, obviously got Sancho and Rashford getting the goals, I think it was. Um, and I think there's been a little bit of that with Eric Tenag since he's come to United, where he's gone, forget the style, it's more about just getting these results. We've seen glimpses of the style, but not the style that I would associate with Ajax or with Eric Ten Hag's Ajax in particular. It's weird, isn't it? Because you'd think that that's the whole reason he was brought in. Mm. You'd think that that would, that would be the sort of... Well, he, he kind of keeps saying it, it, doesn't he? He said it in press conference, I can't play the style that I want to play with this, um, with this team. What's the, uh, the latest? Are we resetting the internet here? What's I don't know. It seems okay to me. I, well, the, yeah, it the, seems all right here. It's not looking great, but... We don't have any internet on the other PC. Right, okay, we'll keep going. Um, yeah. It's a, I don't know what's going on. The internet is has been relatively stable for the last few weeks, but then it's strong and stable again now. Strong and stable uh, So government. we need to reset that in, in a moment. Um, should we do that now, actually, before kick-off? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to reset the internet. We'll be back you in just a You might lose us for a sec, but don't go anywhere. Yes. Stay, yeah, stay we'll around. we we'll back in just a few minutes. We'll put a I think we can still be in the, the comments as well. So uh, get in the comments, keep chatting to us. Yes, of And course. we'll keep chatting to you guys, because it's literally going to be... 30 seconds, so don't go anywhere. Yeah, so should we put the slate over for just a moment? 
and then we can come back. Right, we are back. The game has kicked off. Get your score predictions in the comments. What are you saying, Jay? Big game. Big game. It has to end tonight. There is no replays. There is no next week. It's now or never, you absolute twat. Um, sorry. That, that, that seems, you know, harsh sorry, but Jay. fair. Yeah, no, it's all right. It's all right. I'm just well. watching a, a corner for Forrest there. It's Tom McTominay doing his thing. Bated breath. Um, I'll go United to win on penalties. Oof. I'm going to say United are going to win this. Yeah. Two goals to one. And it's going to be a Bruno Fernandes masterclass. There you go. Here's Andy we now. It. We need some Talking of masterclasses. Find it. That's not it. Oh, just about. I mean, that was a shocking pass, that one. It, it that almost was a Forest that. player. And right. it, it still was twi that, like 15 yards behind him. Yeah, I don't know what he was trying to do. No, and even know. what he was trying to do didn't come off. So it looks like, yeah, Garnacho on the left. Rashford down the middle. Is that a corner ball? Or yeah. It looks like it, doesn't it? I don't blame Ganach on me for what's gone on this season. I think no. he's only... If people forget how young he is. And he's always a threat. I think he's, he's been quite good. He's only 19. Mm. I feel like he's... You know, he gets sort of tired with the same brush as a lot of the players. And I think it's unfair because he's still a kid. Yeah. And, and I think he's got better as the season's gone yeah, on. Yeah, he's playing alongside some players that just aren't good enough. Bruno, hey up. that's a foul. Hey up. Oh, in oh, a bar, but what's he give there? Is he blown up for something? Can we get a bit of volage? Thank you. Anthony at the bar, which for him is very good. Probably should have hit the target, really, but... That's a, that's a booking, that on Bruno. It's not a bad effort from Anthony, to be fair. It, you know what I mean? It's it's three inches from, from going in. Yeah. Well, Bruno gets absolutely cleared out on the edge of the box. Yeah, is that's it a, a bad as foul, well? that. It is. It should be a booking for Alanga, that. Is it? Don't think so. For sake. So that's Casemiro on Gibbs White. That's a probably booking, a red. <laughs> we'll just send him off. They'd send him off, send him off the... and then, is the VAR tonight? I would, yeah, I, I would assume so. Right. I was about to say, they'd send him off and VAR would check it and still send him off. Yeah. VAR would check it and arrest him. <laughs> Take him away, boys. Just straight down the tunnel. Get on out of here. Getting in on Has the Has that ever hats. happened? What? Has a player ever been removed from the pitch in handcuffs? He no. must have done. In handcuffs? Yeah. Once, we was playing a team. I think it was in Sean, and one of their keepers, uh, the keeper on one of the game's pitches next was got nicked. In the game? Yeah, he's only a kid. <clears throat> when you say only a kid, do you mean like 15 or like 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, like... 15, 16, whatever. He got arrested during the game? Yeah, like, the old Bill came for him. I don't know, he must have had warrants out or some shit, but he got the nicked him. Fucking hell. Imagine that attack all so bad. <laughs> but it wasn't anything to do with the game. It was like... Yeah, yeah, it was he previous. Was, he was wanted. To like, be he fair... Must have found that, like, he was playing on the, you know, the park or whatever. With United's team, that's probably fucking just as likely enough, <laughs> let's be honest. As much as it makes me feel sick to say it. Go on, then. Eric didn't get arrested at Sellers Park, did he? No. Oh, well, he got arrested afterwards. But he, say, he certainly walked off the pitch. Yeah, he didn't get... I don't think he got nicked that night. I think he had to go and hand himself. Like, they just said, like, you need to come and talk to us. Isn't it weird that they do that with celebrities? Like, OJ Simpson, like, we think you might have murdered someone. Make your way down. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. Don't, was like, nah. when, you, when you're famous, we don't arrest you. You yeah. arrest yourself. Yeah, you just come in and just when, when you feel like it. Yeah. Hey. What was something else I was watching about... I can't remember who it was now. I think it was it, it wasn't um Paul Daniels, but it was someone like Paul Daniels. Go on. Someone of that sort of stature, like a British Phil Daniels. 
No, I don't think the name was the similarity. I think it was just sort of the stature. Ah, okay. Like a real BBC kind of guy. Yeah. Might have even been Savile or someone. Anyway, but basically... <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't him. But they were like, we think you might have committed this really serious crime. Yeah. Come to the police station at 10am, will you? <laughs> like, yeah, you can sleep at yours, but come in first thing. Like, <laughs> fucking arrest him. If this person's a criminal, just because they've got a decent... Like, they've got a couple of BAFTAs on the shelf, it doesn't stop them from being dangerous. <laughs> you don't get that. Anyway, <laughs> thoughts on Onana? Um, he's all right. Oh. The jury's out. I had higher hopes. Yeah, we. Yeah, we I did. did. We I I wanted Onana. I I liked the idea of bringing him in. I thought it was time for David De Gea to move on. But let's be honest. He cost us the Champions League. True. And in the league, he's been better, but still has a little bit. Of, he's got one in him. So. Yeah. Oh! Oh, you fucking hell. But somebody with a header cross and it's saved. It's still alive. No, no not Anthony's, anymore, it's not. Anthony's trying to head it in from oh, 17 yards out. Um, should, have, should he have scored there, McTominay? I think, or am I, I being harsh? I think in those situations, it's hit, you've got to hit the target. And he does hit the target. It's straight at the keeper. Yeah. He could have done better, yeah. but I wouldn't be too mad. He, he just, it's just straight at the keeper. Yeah, he's got, for me... You, do a bit better because it's a yeah. free header there's no one challenging him yeah. it's a very good cross as well from Diogo Delo by the way yeah very good um, and I think that somebody really should score he probably should score yeah and Anthony should do better with that header that was just back to the keeper as well it's like a defensive should header just, he should have just not tried to score with it yeah he's running backwards and he's he just like it's like he was playing it back to the keeper doing him a favour yeah um, good start though from you know what are we almost eight minutes in yeah no, 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 I, I spoke too soon Rash has just lost it there and now they're Forrest is going through. fucking fly, flown past Amber back there and he's drilled it to a... Oh, sorry, it was Origi. Origi. Fucking, I didn't think... I, didn't, I, I assumed it wasn't him because I didn't think he was that quick. I mean, yeah, he's, he's just absolutely... Turbo charges it down here, doesn't he? What the fuck? Thankfully, the, the shot's pretty tame. I thought, I thought Amber could keep up with Mbappe. Where did, where did that go? <laughs> Like, how, can basing, go, how can we just? You basing your analysis off that clip from the World Cup? That yeah, everyone, that everyone was tweeting. Convinced he's us just that got ripped by, is, by fucking forty-year-old Divock Origi. Yeah, How's that happened? The new greatest defensive defensive midfielder ever. Oh, he's only twenty-eight. How is Origi only twenty-eight? What? That's the maddest thing we're going to hear today. Divock Origi is twenty-eight years old. Oh, no, I thought he was at Liverpool for, into his thirties. Oh my god! All right, fair you want enough. One of them that like won loads of finals with him. Did he? Yeah, didn't he have that record of like played four, win four? Or something? Ollie, what was the record with Origi? He did something like didn't he play in four finals and win them all or something it's stupid? Time, Sorry. Call yourself a scouse, you don't even know. Hey, shocking. Lucky charm. Go on, Marcus. Put him under. Under. So we're sort of. We're seeing that the trademark kind of one God, hold it, one go midfielder. Go on, Andy, you'll make that, lad. See, that's a. F Do you know what? Shove there, want it? They've got a corner out of it. It's annoying that because I was just about to give Anthony a bit, of, bit of um. No, he should like just pushed him. He should have just gone down. Yeah, but it, good tracking back, that good work rate, good sprinting back, good pass as well, though. To be yeah, fair, it's it a was. very good pass. But that's in that's in his back though. That no, it's a that's foul. not shoulder For to me, shoulder. That's, that's on his back. That is a foul. Tough old air. But the thing is, if Anthony goes down there and the ref doesn't give a free kick, then everyone is fucking battering the Anthony. Yeah. Aren't they? Everyone's absolutely hammering him. Oh. Gibbs White with the corner. Two corners apiece so far. Nottingham Forest, got, has is it? It, he's gone down holding his face yeah he's been very involved so far Anthony he has he? For, Nottingham Forest is a, is a weird name isn't it for a, t for a club there's no other forests is there because the, I know he's like Forest Green yeah but Forest is like a sort of suffix no it's like it? Wednesday isn't it there's not there's no other Wednesdays no, and yet there's loads forest. of places that have forests yeah yeah like if they were called Sherwood Forest FC I'd get it because that's yeah. it but Nottingham Forest isn't a forest isn't, isn't even a place 
No, is what is that? He's just proper mad proud of the forest. It has to be, doesn't it? Like, proper Robin Hood bastard. Like our forest is Why aren't they called mid. Robin Hood FC? Or Sherwood Forest FC? Nottingham Forest. It's not a thing. Nottingham Forest is a crazy club, man. How can you? How can they have won like two European Cups? That's I insane. Know. Know. They've won like they've won as many as Chelsea. <laughs> won more than double Arsenal. the amount that City have. They've won an infinite times more than Arsenal. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Just a crazy team. Yeah, one of the great stories that in in British football, isn't it? That Clough team. Yeah, it it, it really is. And in man like uh, Notts County, like one of the oldest teams ever. I think, yeah, they're like the third oldest team ever. Because that, like, that's why you they wear black and white, innit? Because of Notts County. Yeah, because they gave them kits like, and stuff. Yeah, she's always like a quirk, yeah. quirky stat. It's all happening in, in Nottingham, man. It's a place to be. <laughs> Kicking off. If you want European cups and kits for Juventus, yeah. there's no better place than. And the no, Paul Smith no. shop. Exactly. Got that there. Hey. Jesus Christ. What, what was that? Too much, I know, man, that. that was just stupidness. It was. We sort of half looked good for a second there and then caught ourselves and thought, yeah, no, we should probably no, give the ball I'm away now. Admit, let's not forget who we are. Yeah. This Go on, Marcus, us. keep going, son. We don't do this. Keep going. Let's see a bit of coherence here from United. Oh. That's no. so easy, isn't it? Look at this now. So, there's a f so there, to break through our whole team... There was an, a free man on the edge of the box and a free man on the left wing. And then they're basically threw onto our defence from two passes. Go on, Garnacho. He's kept that in. Oh, he just ran into him. He just ran out of ideas yeah, no there, Garnacho. Rashford yeah, just was doing nothing in the middle in terms of movement. Well, that's a foul, but he's got away with it. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that. It seems like upstairs a moving, ha moving house. I think it's the cleaners in upstairs. God Typical bless. Typically. <laughs> I told you about my, my sort of interaction with the cleaners the other week, didn't I? What? Here? Yeah. No, what happened? So you you might remember about three or four weeks ago, the Wednesday night show that I'm normally on with Jay, I wasn't on. You'll know, obviously, because you were there. And I... Uh, I had really, really bad stomach. Back end stuff. Oh, really? Back end nasties. Right, okay. Just like. Two bob bits and that. Yeah. Do you know, like, it's like a, 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 a bowl of cocoa popped before you've drank the milk. Do right, you know what I mean? okay, yeah, yeah. Just absolute piss. Yeah. And I was worried because obviously um, the cleaners had come in when I was in the toilet. So I, instead of going, I, I thought I'll go downstairs to the, to the toilets downstairs. Yeah. Just only just made it because I went home. I was I was ill. Yeah, you only were Ill. just made it. Absolutely, just yeah. I've never, I've never seen red. you look so ill that night. Yeah, then you painted lost. the town red. Oh my god! And just as I was like in there, I heard the door open. No. And the cleaners got plays music on a phone, and I could hear the music in the distance as some weird like horrible reminder of what was to come. Oh. And I opened the door, and she was just stood at the other side of the door. Me just absolutely blown this thing to pieces. Oh mate! It's just the look she gave. Did it me. stink? It, it stink isn't even the word. It smelled like vomit. Right. Because it, oh, it, yeah. it, it you been were so recently so, digested. So Ill that night. The 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 eye contact I had to make with her. Was oh, that's a block horrible. there. Forest there. Uh, was well that Victor Lindelof did well yeah. there? So I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna have a go for them. No, I don't think you can. I, I, I owe two or three. The best thing for you to do is stay clear of them for the rest of your life. Yeah, and the worst bit as or well. Or ever see him or speak to him. Then she obviously went in and, and basically tidied my muck away. Oh, which is no one should have to do that. She doesn't get paid enough for she that. She doesn't. Whatever no she's does. on is not enough for yeah, that. Fucking Jeff Bezos don't get paid enough for no. that. No. Then as I went upstairs, got all my stuff, she goes, oh, "I'm gonna go, Joe." Jay walked down the staircase and she was she was stood on the staircase. Did she give you a look of disgust? It was a look I'll never forget. Was that? Yeah. Did it she was, give you that? Was it like a little head shake as well, like? Maybe even a cheeky little talk. She just showed me a picture of her, of her kids, and they were all they they were crying. They were yeah, because they knew Mummy had been through something <laughs> traumatic. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. Anyway, corner to Forest. <laughs> headed away. Well, I say away. It was just headed upwards. Headed upwards by Casemiro, and then sort of bobbled about and swept away by Amrabat. You know, I just letting Forest dictate the game, which is what yeah. we all want to see. Let Forest have possession, let them sort of dictate the speed of things. 
let them just sort of, you know, win first and second balls. Well done, Casemiro. Yeah, well done. Right, and near on the right. It's only just in the forest half. Just slow the game down a lot there. Jesus Christ, Scott McTominay. That's like me passing That was it. at least 10 yards away from any United player. What was he trying to do? That. that was that's, so, that's so shit. That's the pass of someone who's not played a game on a full-size pitch in about a month. It's no, in about their he's life. He's just been playing like small matches in training. That was mental. And he's not actually hit a 40-yard pass in a while. <laughs> when, he, when that left his foot, he hit that pass with the confidence of someone. I thought he was going to find his man. Yeah. Like, it's like the look of it. Yeah. The way the technique and I thought, yeah. And it just was nowhere near a United player. It went straight no. to a Forest player. On the, on the camera, as it panned across, the Forest player controlled it. There was no United player in the <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I can't even predict who that was meant for because there was never a United player in shot again after that. The way that. he did it, the way he struck it as well was like with such confidence. You thought, yeah, he's, he's done well here. Yeah. That was mental. Oh, that's a lovely yes. pass from Somebody. Anthony. Pull it back! Rashford is! Oh, he's. No. I don't think Do Tommy chose the right pass, but that even when it, when it got to uh, Rashford, he should have done better. That was a very good pass from, a good run from McTominay, a good pass from Anthony. I, I, I maybe should have squared it to Amrabat, but you know what? That was considered yeah. direct, good football from Manchester United there. The ball's bobbling all over it the place. It's bobbling, tough for to be fair. But that was good. That was better. Tenag will be happier with that. I won't be happy that it went over, but he'll be happy that we actually managed to make our way through Nottingham Forest there. I, I mean this with... with, with uh, oh, oh uh, Sofian Amrabat. Oh, I'd good say, save, Onana. Onana. Sofian Amrabat wasn't held by Varane, maybe it wasn't his fault, but he ended up going through to uh, Awanee and he's had a shot that's been saved, and well then, saved by uh, Andre Onana. Bruno there trying to dispossess Forrest, but the Forrest still keep hold of it. They're going all the way yeah. back to their half, though, which is a relief. Yeah. That Mc, was poor. That McTominay there, just, we've just seen that side of him where he's just not very good at playing out from the back. So we had this little scramble. Varane made a mistake. Amrabat made a mistake. And then it comes out to McTominay. And instead of controlling the game, slowing it down, or whatever like Maynou does, he gives the ball away straight away. So mm -hmm. Forrest can keep that pressure on. We've seen that so much over the last few years. Him and Fred, when they were both in there, have got a right tendency to do that, both of them. You never can sort of push the, the, the other team off you because you're just giving the ball away all the time. He's a langer. Do you know where a langer or sometimes where the sort of band fabric thing? Yeah. Do you think that provides extra grip when you're heading the ball? It must do. Is that that, that gives you more grip than a, the sweaty forehead, doesn't it? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I assume so. I'm surprised more players don't do it. Yeah. Is there a limit to what you can wear? On your head? I don't know. Back in the day, right, when I was a kid, there was a player that used to play for Palace called Eric Young. Yeah. He was at Wimbledon and he went to Palace. And he always wore a headband. Yeah. And he was like the only player in the... The world. <laughs> the world. <laughs> I can't remember anyone. Whenever I think of like head, players with an headband back in back in the day, he's the yeah. only one I can think of. Ooh. Oh the longest cross dates end up Oh, oh. Forrest have still got it here. It's done well there. Just cli the claiming I'm ball there, Forrest, I don't think they're gonna get it. Um because you think do you know, That's like, a foul, well done there, we'll you, have that. You get these socks that have got like sticky patches on them so they don't yeah. move around in your boot and people talk about players wearing them and then you see footballers cutting holes in the back of their socks so that their bulging calf muscles aren't interfered with by, and like blood flow isn't interfered with by your sock. Yeah. You think if, if, if any sort of headwear is, is permitted, you'd think some sort of helmet or maybe just a strap that's got grippy, ba grippy patches on it yeah. that makes heading more reliable and more accurate. Yeah. You think I'm surprised if Brand hasn't bought that out if you're allowed to do that. There's my little million dollar idea. No, no, I think you've got a great idea and I think someone should get on it. I agree. It's a save that you expect so Nana to make, but yeah. he, he does it, he makes it well. I'm about to, I know I said I preferred him at left back and I do, but he has still got one in him, on he? Was it Galatasaray where he gave it away? Yeah. It's been a proper cup tie so far. Mm. Come on. Jesus Christ. What is going on here? Bloody well done, hell. 
everything Amrabat is touches. He's, turns, he sort of he looks he <laughs> turns look, to shit. Turns to mold. <laughs> yeah, it lo- he sort of half looks unlucky, but it's like every time he touches the ball, yeah. something bad happens. Well done, Bruno there. Oh, <sighs> unlucky that. Isn't there is it? I thought he was gonna find Marcus then. Go on, Marcus, get a challenge in. That's it. Go on, son. Come on. Fucking oh, two of you there. He's fallen hell. over the whole time, and two of you can't get the ball off him. This is he is Victor Lindelof's kryptonite, by the way. Yeah. Wanya is literally Victor the type Lindelof of player looked that like Lindelof he was asking for a foul there, with. or and the keeper to come and get it. Just stocky, like strong strikers. Lindelof is fucked. <laughs> is he? Like even you could. They've got uh, Chris Wood. I don't think he's even on the bench for him, but Chris Wood. Would be a similar one. Do you know any any human being that can do like that to Lindelof and just push him out of the way? It, he can't. He don't know what to do. Fucking hell! What was that? Look at this! What are they doing? They're just fucking skilling through everyone. Forrest seems to have signed a prime Lionel Messi to play from in midfield. Every time they get the ball, we've got two players just half fucking jogging next to him, letting him through. Here's a Rigi again. He's got himself oh, a corner. corner. United concede so many corners every week, don't we? It's been it's not really end to end. It's been more they've been attacking, but we've had probably the best chance of the game with somebody's header. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, it's been Forest have been the better side so far. Unsurprisingly, which is annoying. Corner to Forest. <sighs> Headed up and behind for another corner, is it? Do you think any no, club the in the world has got round their sort of... I was looking at that balls, as well. Right, has got I was looking European at Cup winners, European <laughs> Cup winners... League One playoff winners. 2022 <laughs> playoff winners. <laughs> Do you think there's any club in the world that's got something like that no. going on? They're I don't, I don't think there that. is. I they're don't they're think there's that. any club that's got like, we've won a European Cup, a European Cup, and we got promoted via the playoffs. Like yeah. that's didn't, something, even, didn't even win the championship. Yeah. Just got promoted like, from the playoffs. There's like the, the ones that you're celebrating around your stadium. H- who that's else crazy. has even won two European Cups? Who's like... Exactly, it's not a common thing, is it? Like, no. All the big boys have like Ajax and, and you know, obviously more like Milan and teams like have won loads. And, but you know, to win two top European cups, yeah, I, I can't imagine. And also, you'd have won so many trophies if you're uh, one of those teams. Like Chelsea have obviously won two European cups, but they've also won like ten FA cups and five league cups or whatever, and yeah. the Cup Winners' Cup and the Europa League and all the rest of it. Like. So once you get down to the twos, so yeah. obviously you've got Real Madrid 14, which yeah. is just sensational. Milan 7, yeah. four, six. Bayern 6. Bayern 6 is good, isn't it? Yeah. That, that gets overlooked a little bit, you know? It does. The idea that Bayern have got more um, Champions Leagues than Barcelona, I don't think is very well known. Uh, Ajax 4, United and Inter on 3. Then when you're down to the twos, obviously all of them are always in the top flight. Then you've got Chelsea, same. Uh, Forest, then it's Benfica, Juve, Porto, City, Dortmund, Feyenoord, Villa, Hamburg, and then it's uh, is that's Red Star, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, who's that? FCSB. Do you know who that is? No, I don't think so. Yeah. That is Star Bucharest, I believe. Oh, they beat Barcelona on penalties, yeah, didn't they? Did. they? So, El Tel, so Terry Venables. Um, as the Barca manager. And then who else you got? Celtic. So that's it. So yeah, I think. I know Villa got relegated, actually, didn't they? Yeah, so they that's did. an option. They could maybe have it. <clears throat> well, Forest are probably, yeah, the only club that have got that. Forest going through it. No, it was Vitzel and just I think it was Vitzel and just hoofed that away. Yeah, it's such a sort of, you know, contradiction in it. It's such an oxymoron. Yeah. So like, yes, European Cups. League winners, European Cup, European Cup. Playoff champions. We don't know what we're doing here, do we? What, me and you? No, Chinese well, shit. we don't, but... That's, that's a given. United. It's so shit to watch us in it at the minute. I know. Yeah, let them win that. 
Come on then. Go now. on, let's, Garnacho. Let's push up. Let's win that. <laughs> no. Okay, let's win the second ball. Oh, God. Bruno's just played it off. He just can't Arike. keep the ball at all. I don't know what he was trying to do there, Bruno, to be honest with you. But he's won it back and then he's fall, fallen over and he's not got the foul. It looked like he was stood on there. Right, get up anyway, because Anthony's got it. Right, what, what we got now? We're so good at watching our teammates make runs and not trying to find Not them, helping right? him, not doing anything about it. Yeah. You make a run and I'll just go run backwards. Right, go on, Garnacho. Could, could do with a bit of help. Could do some help. Yeah. There you go. Who else is there? Bruno's getting booed. Another news water is wet. That was crap, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on. Pass it in. Keeping the ball a little bit at least. Is in is the where's the movement? Where we what we're doing here? Play out to Garnacho. No obvious pass. He's going to have to come back here, isn't he? Unless he runs with it himself, which he and wins a foul. Well done. But he had nothing on there no, forward, did he at all? Done well there, really. Yes. <sighs> Give us your thoughts in the comments. Why is Bruno waving his arms about the brat? The brat. What do you the prefer? spoiled brat. Brat, prat, or pillock? I love brat, mate. Do you? Yeah. I do like that spoiled brat. Yeah. Spoiled. What do you prefer? I like pillock quite Pillock's a, lot. a good one. Yeah. Because I like pillock. git as well. Git. Spoiled git. Do you like sod? Sod <laughs> is good. Git and sod are very a wife that, calling their husband that. Yeah, there's they? a woman that used to stand near us at Old Trafford back in the day. And she Shocking. always used to say sod. Yeah. Get up, you diving sod. When it was one of the players going Is that down. short for like sod as in like soil and just earth yeah. shit or is it sod and me bumming? Well, that took a turn that I wasn't expecting. Um, I have no idea to be honest with you. Okay. Sod. The surface of the ground. Yeah. The grass growing on it. Okay. Cool. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, Scott McTominay's on the ball. Go on, McTominay. Great That's pass. the one. Good Great pass. ball. You know, right the, behind the him. Place to Straight pass to, to Divock Origi. He's two yards behind Absolute him. moron. Honestly. Oh, our passing is so bad. We look terrible so far, don't we? I that can't was genuinely... So, it's like he's deliberately done it. He's hooked it He's so hooked hard. it behind everyone. Know, like, yeah. almost on purpose. I'll tell you what. He better score, McTominay. Yeah, that's really all he's got, isn't it? You know, I just... I know we're just giving it away there, but last five minutes or so, holding the ball a little bit better. Not looking very dangerous, admittedly, but Forrest haven't had much of the ball in the last few minutes. You just miss so much when Hoyland's not playing, man, because Marcus yeah. has not been in this at all. I know he's not had much service, but Hoyland like, goes looking for it as well and helps create stuff. Yeah. We're missing a lot out of this team, though, as well, aren't we? You've only got two of your starting back four, two of your starting midfield, and in in their position. Nah, I hear you. I one do. or two of the starting attackers. I get that. Every position's been sort of hamstrung a little bit, but still, a fucking ten yard pass should be should be doable, shouldn't it? Yeah. Come on, where's the movement here? Do a little bit of play on the left hand side. Bruno's just decided to switch oh. it. No. It's not a great pass, really, is it? David Gill and Alex Ferguson sat next to each other there. There's Brailsford <coughs> as well. Yeah, he John Murta in front. What do you th I'm surprised John Murta's turned up. Are you? I, I think, think Fergie's I having a word with Brailsford about John Murta right now. It's like behind yeah, his back. Literally behind dickhead. his back. Hey, why is he still sat here? You not got rid of him yet, Brailsford. Yeah. Don't worry, Fergie. It's all in hand. Yeah. John Shirker, more like. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Shaking responsibilities. Yeah. Um, nice. If I was John Merton, do you know when like they brought in all these new people and that? Yeah. Oh, so no, 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 oh nah, nah. go on, son. That's it. Yeah, why not? We're five nil up. Take the piss. Um, I just wouldn't have turned up to see how long it'd take until people noticed. What, like George Costanza? Yeah, because in, they're in not... Seinfeld, where he quits his job and then he just goes back. Yeah, but the, sort of the opposite of that. What? Doesn't quit his job. Oh, right, sorry, doesn't... Back. Sorry, just no... Go, sorry, I got yeah, confused. He's not quitting, he hadn't yeah. left, but he just don't go back. Right, okay. And people... I, I, think I reckon he'd still get paid. Weeks. Yeah, he would. I think it'd be about three weeks before anyone realised... John Murray's not been in. I reckon David Moyes still gets a paycheck from United. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, just, just someone, out. someone's forgot yeah. to press a button. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I th- yeah, we paid him his whole when, contract. When Thingy came in, when Ineos came in, they probably went through the accounts and they were like, can we ask you, like, why is King David Moyes still getting paid? Is this this isn't right. the D Moyes we think it is, is why it? Why is Dave Sexton still getting a fucking wage? <laughs> Shit, he is. <laughs> he absolutely is. Well, that's right. a good point. Go on, then. Skills! Go on, Dolo. Go on then, Dolo. Absolutely whip it, whip it, take the piss. Whip it, whip it. Go on! Oh, oh that, was that was a lovely good. little bit of play good there play from, from Manchester United. Good stuff there. Diogo Dallo in particular did very well. I don't think McTominay did much wrong there. It's very good defending behind him. Look at this from Dolo. Um, but good one-touch play on the edge of the box. And Look at that spin. turn, eh? Fucking like have a bit of that. Dallo. And a good cross as well. That was oh, good. It's just that a good was save. Good. No, yeah. good play there from United. Direct, energetic, sprinting. Good save that. It's a tough. It's a tough um, position to try and score a header from as well. Go on then. Oh, it's just bouncing in front of her hand. Ow! <laughs> Imagine that one. Um, that was yeah. It was an overhead kick. <laughs> Tomine overhead kick attempt. It did go t- twenty yards over <laughs> the bar. But when I saw <laughs> McTominay going through the air, hey, I don't think I could ever attempt a, an overhead kick. Look, <laughs> I don't think I could even begin <laughs> to yeah. attempt it. That I mean, do you? I don't think I could. In my head now, I couldn't work out what to do with my body. I reckon body you even. could do an over a kick that's about as accurate as that one Scott <laughs> McSomley did. To be fair, it was an over a kick yeah. that was also like 20 yards over. It was 20. It couldn't have been... <laughs> to say you made contact, it couldn't have been less close to going in. <laughs> it, was, it was literally hey, 20 yards someone over. Someone needs to split screen that with Rooney's against City. Yeah. It was identical. No, fair play to him. At least he's got confidence. Oh, oh nice. nice little dummy there Good from Anthony. Anthony there. Right, yeah, he's met someone. He's running the fucking show now. He is. Hey, it's his game. Overhead kicks and everything. There you go. Good have that. a bit of that. Good go on, Ganacho. Well Cross into absolutely Anthony, nobody there. No. Varane on the edge of the box here. United just trying to work something. A little bit helpful. For Ganacho. No, he's in the number about. A couple of bad page. minutes, uh, moments there from Ganacho. Wasn't it? That first cross, maybe it was for Rashford, but it looked a bit. I'll just put it in for a striker that doesn't exist and yeah. then a poor ball. But good, good play from McTominay, that. He actually did well there. Yeah, he did. He's obviously, you know, he's still got that buzz from that overhead kick. Yeah. He gets kept seeing Because well, he landed on, on his head. You know, on an M1. He's still got a like, ringing in his ear after that overhead like. kick. Right, let's keep, him, let's keep him in here. Let's try and win this back rather than letting them. Hold on. We have done. Quick, quick, quick. I'll just fucking take it. Foul throw. <laughs> I've never even seen a throw like that. He went like that. He? he went like that. He didn't even like do He just like threw it straight up like a fucking volleyball serve. Didn't they like spike it? It was weird that. He, he's, not, he's not used to throwing. He's not used that's to playing. Not, that's not what he's in the team for. I feel bad for him about uh, What's bit. going on here? Because his first four or five appearances were out of position. Then he played three in position. Then he went to AFCON and he's come back and he's out of position again. What's up? He's having a word about it tonight. Oh, of course he is. Because he's buying into the fucking Ten Hag's a dickhead. Let's take the piss train. What's going on there? What are you doing, you little grass as well? Oh, I'm going to tell the referee on you. Fuck off. Who is that ref? Do you know? Uh, I can't remember his It's uh, Graham Kavanagh. Is it Chris Kavanagh? Sorry. Is it? I think so. Can someone look into that? Good tackle. I'll have a look. Yes, it's Chris Kavanagh. Well done. Thank you. Can you I let you into a little, nice, a little secret? You went to school it? with him? He's a friend of a friend. He is? Mm. <gasps> is he? Yeah. And we, he's a friend of a friend who's a big red as well. And we always give him shit. 
Is he a red? No, not at all. Is he a City <laughs> fan? I'd tell you if he was, he's not. Is he a City fan? No, nah, he's not. Is he from Manchester? I'm not sure. He's from like no, I don't think he's from I don't think he's Manc. Lime Regis. How do you oh it's one of the lads I know. He's Could you get his number if you wanted to? Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't give it. Well, I don't think he'd give it me, to be fair, because he'd be like, why the fuck do you want his number? No reason. But and now and address. again, he'll share like messages from him. I bet he loves that. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing like it. Nothing like Remember that? Was it Was it Anthony Madley, the referee who got suspended for yeah. trolling the kid in the wheelchair? But he did it like to his maid in it. Oh, there's my mate, Wigan Stay. Is it? Um, Where's he from? Um, Bolton. And his name's Dave. Which is yeah. weird. I've been to the Wigan Mitre. He's the one, right? He went viral. You remember when he was walking through the protest with all the coppers grass. going, grass, 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 grass to all the coppers. Grass, 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 fucking grass. Grass, 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 grass. Was that him? Yeah. I want man, he's like a 50-year-old father from free from Wigan. He's got his own business. He's proper sound. <laughs> but he went viral for calling coppers grasses. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Should we have a look at some of the other scores around the ground? No, we shan't. No one cares. They're all fucking shit anyway. We've come to, we're here to see United. That's true. Uh, Wolves are currently beating um, Brighton 1 0. Chelsea 2 1 up against Leeds, and it's 0 0 Liverpool Southampton. Come on, Southampton. I know, that'd be so nice. Imagine. You know what happened? Southampton, don't you give me daggers, you, you little weasel. Um, what's, what'll happen is Southampton will beat Liverpool, and Forest will beat us. Yeah, <laughs> so that's just as nature intended that. it. Would you say that right now? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> so basically, I'm what I'm saying, basically what I'm saying is, uh, uh, Klopp can't win loads of trophies, but, yeah, but Ten Hag we 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 will be sacked yeah. before the evening is through. <laughs> no, I'm not quite. I'm, I'm slightly more optimistic than I am bitter, but I know you're not necessarily the same. What would you, would you take it? Nah, I don't want because someone's not got to stop City winning the treble as well. Yeah, like we did last <laughs> season. No, I don't mean us. I mean, oh, right. <laughs> I mean, the scouts. Well, we're not doing it. We're not. Well, they might. The scouts is my. Oh, referee! Ooh, no, never. Yeah, someone's got. Oh, David Ellensworth. Rashford's had five shots this half. Three tequilas and two sambucas. Bounce. Nice. <laughs> you like that, don't you? I don't you, like no, it. No, you do. I love you wish it. you'd thought of that. Oh. Hey. Yeah, David, tell me how you thought of that. Hey, that's your favourite joke. Andy Stewart says, what's gone on with Bruno the last couple of months playing like he's stoned? Well, he's half injured. Fucking hell, stop giving sure it away. Today. I don't know the, the, the rest of the last two months, but I don't think he's fully fit today. Come on, then. Let's try and win this here. What we got? Offside. It's quite a dull game, this, isn't it? It is. It was. It was started off quite well. It was like bit end to end. There's all sorts happening. Lively. Now it's just fucking shit. Mm. We've brought them down to our level, which is good. Yeah, it's a good start. Can't get a sniff at the minute, Rashford. No, he can can't. Can he? He's and he's you know he's looking pissed off and fucking fuming, which isn't what you want him to be doing. No. I think Alan Shearer there talking about Rashford's body language. It's what I mean. It's a you know we hear this all the time. It's not a coincidence. It's not mm. like it's people picking on him or it's a one-off. It's like all you ever hear about is he looks pissed off. He looks like yeah. he don't want to be there. There we go. Off a chance here. Find the pass. Good ball, that. No, I'll do. Very right, good ball, go on, Marcus. Tom, Run at him. Go on, son. Good that's pass. the ball, that. Square it, square it, square it. Oh, that's <sighs> a bad ball from Andrew Vatt. See, that's, that's good play, that. Running behind. Find the, yeah. find the man early. Decent bit of play. And we're in a, a good position there. A couple of passes of play. That's that where you right. need a striker or someone making a bit more movement in the middle. The pass wasn't great for Amrabat, but there wasn't a load to, to square it to, was there? Go on, Scott. It's it. Okay. All the way back to Anana. It's okay. 
feel like we don't see Onana much on the ball at the minute. No. The last few Do you weeks. remember the, the Arsenal game where it was like he was he had loads of touches? I thought he was brilliant in that game. What fucking hell is that? Kept us in like because we couldn't get out of our own half at all in that game, could we? Arsenal just you know. Um, yeah, we do. Whenever you can have him, and in fact, Ronnie can come and sit here when Andy gets here if you want, or you can. Yeah, Ronnie, you can come and sit here and Andy can go there. Whenever we get the ball in Arsenal's half, they just won it straight back. Yeah. But Onana did such a good job of meaning that we could keep the ball in our half for extended periods of time so that they weren't just attacking constantly. Fucking hell, they're through here now, though. And then now we never use him, really. Forrest just in the United's box. It's a good strike, that. Oh, bro. And I thought that was and going ball. right in the top corner. Just looks wrong, that. You, you're a bit too young to remember the NF, aren't you? Yeah. That was like the, the precursor to the BMP. Was it? Yeah. The National Front. They were like the, the, the racists that... I've like, heard of them. Yeah. So when you see flags with NF, it just reminds me of that. Yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. Just looks wrong. Yeah. All right, go on. He's running into trouble there. He's not going to get a foul because he's got the ball. And now Forrest are going to break. Oh, no, hang on. Vitzel and Love, no. It's a good ball, that. Alanga. Oh, he's been pushed to the back post. Uh, shocker. You know, I gave him enough space there. He should have done better there, to be honest. Did he go to Afcon on you? Because he's Nigerian, isn't he? I don't think they picked him, did they? Did they not? I don't think they did. No, no. No, I don't think they did. Been doing well, hasn't he? Been doing alright this season. Yeah, pretty Not good. Getting there, the old laugh. He's only played eight eight times for Nigeria, and I don't think he played. I don't think he was at the tournament this time. I mean, that is fucking woeful. Yeah. Hang on a sec. He was selected by Nigeria for their thirty-five man provisional squad for the twenty sixteen Olympics. That was eight years ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, eight and, well, eight and a bit years ago. Yeah. He's only 26. So he must have been like 15 or 16 when he went to the Olympics. That's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, no, sorry, 17 or 18. Actually, yeah. that's not, that's not <laughs> right. Oh, forget it. Sorry. I'm not 26. Why is an 18 year old going to the Olympics? I thought, I thought so fucking amazing to you. was 10 years ago. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't wonder where you were going with that, bro. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I thought you were going to start sort of saying that thing about how some people question the ages of certain players <laughs> from Africa. No, I wasn't but I thought, it, like, Bruno. Uh, could have hit that first time, Bruno. Oh, oh no! He dived in there, Lindelof. Oh, fucking hell! Origi again. I think he's been driven wide though with a yeah. length for that pass. Like a legs in move the out of way. There, there? No one could get near oh, him. For fuck's sake! Right, go on, go on, Alejandro. Come on then. Anthony, who's not been bad so far. He's not done a lot, but I don't think he's had a, a couple of his recent games. He's just been absolutely shocking, hasn't he? Yeah. But I, I, don't, I don't think he's been poor. He's just not done a lot. Right, now what? No one really making any runs. Casemiro. It's it. Oh, well, well, well over. over. Uh, Kieran O'Brien says, say if Ten Hag did get the sack, do you think there's any chance Sir Jim would go for Jabby Alonso and would you take him, considering the ex -scouser? Um I don't think he'd go for him. I don't think he'd come here. Also, he's doing really well. He can't argue with his record. I just don't see it happening. I don't see someone who's sort of synonymous with Liverpool coming to United. Mm. I just don't see it happening. Do you think his CV is good enough? Because obviously he's done very well so far and what is it, 33 games unbeaten for him. But he's not, I don't think he's ever won anything. And he's only been in that job for a couple of years. Do you see, do you think he's done enough to get a job like United? I know, take all the other stuff away. I think the argument would be that he's a manager who's on the curve, on the cusp of 
going that way. Like, yeah. He's just started really smashing it and he's on that thing. I mean, it might not work out like that, but it's, do you need to get one of those managers as they're like that, mm. if that makes sense? Because obviously Klopp had already got there, I know, because he won back-to-back titles with Bournemouth. Yeah. I think, you know, if Alonso was to win the title with Leverkusen, you could argue, yeah, he's good enough to manage Manchester United. Mm. Uh, especially in that league where Bayern Munich can win it every year. I just don't see it happening. No. I think it's just a waste of time entertaining it because it won't happen you won't come to United so I don't think Sir Jim Ratcliffe should try and get him uh, yeah it's half time um, Manchester United nil Nottingham Forest nil a strange a strange half really there from F- for United as, as Jay walked straight in front of the camera there uh, which is <laughs> no, it's all right. um, we're going to hear from Andy and, and Ronaldo in just a minute um, Robert Wilhelm says I think it, we may have mentioned this oh yeah we have already uh, thoughts on the first half let us know um, in the comments Amrabat Rashford and Casemiro have all been poor uh, have they even shown up um, Hayden Johnson says as Ronaldo walks in front of the camera I wonder if our players spend the most time on the ground compared to other teams I don't know if that metric has even been tracked by anyone I'm not sure it is maybe if we move that camera so it can be walked behind instead um, Ronaldo Brown I was going to say like, how good to see you no, <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing uh, okay. What did you make of that? It's just meh again. Really, it's not. Yeah. I, I, I won't sit here and say it's been awful. I, I think awful would be probably a little bit of a stretch, but I think it's not been great either. Um, we've had a lot more possession than we've had in recent games, and uh, from that standpoint, but it still seems like we've had the the better chances. But they've also had a few opportunities as well. I think we've actually been helped out by Forrest actually lacking a quite a lot of quality in the first half, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because I think it's one of these games where Forrest haven't been particularly great either. No. So it's two teams kind of having a bit of a mid-off, as, they, as, the, as the, the young youths call it, yeah. where both teams are just playing quite as average or as poor as each other. So it makes for a bit of a hard watch, a bit of a stale watch. Um, there's just moments, but other than that, it's been quite scrappy um, from both and um, just a lack of quality all around. Yeah. Um, Andy, you watching the game. What did you make of what we've seen there? Ronaldo saying it's just been a bit of a sort of low quality, not neither team looking terrible, neither team looking very good kind of game. Would you agree with that? I would agree, but I said we, we've created the better chances with the one-touch play. Yeah. And it's with better finishing, it could have been to our advantage. We could have gone in leading. And uh, it's it's it set the tone. So like I say, it's like I say, it looks like a mid-table Premiership match. Le- le- nothing to give, nothing to gain. Uh, it's trying to scare each other out. And is you, they say there's no urgency. Uh, I've, I heard the commentators upstairs like say, very the very well, Alan Shearer is very critical of uh, Marcus Rashford. Yeah. So uh, and to be fair, he's he's right as well. And to be fair. Like he's not pulling his weight, but like you say, a, l- a little bit more is needed from the, from the from the players, mm. and it's oh, it's, t- tonight's more important to me than Sunday. I'll is say it? that. I, I, I well, say just that because now. you we, you expect to win this and you don't expect to beat City, or because because I want to value the FA Cup more than pushing for top. four? Have you seen the draw? Liverpool at home or Southampton? How much of a, how much of a, a, a carrot is that to dangle? Yeah. If that ain't motivation, Liverpool. You know, I don't know what is it. It's I want I want to win this FA Cup. Yeah. If we get through this tonight, wow, quarter final T- tickets. Oh, my bank account will be raided by midnight tonight by Manchester United. Yeah. You you bet you watch it. I'll, I'll have the email by ten forty five. My bank will be deducted by eleven thirty, yeah. and that that's what United do. From a ticket, from a from a money grabbing point of view, but <laughs> yeah, that's what they'll I do. Mean, you want the ticket though, if you're playing. Of course, the I want the ticket. You want the ticket. So so do all the ones who want to go who never go. Mm. Just like Barcelona, you remember? Yeah. Should I get a Barca ticket last year? Everyone comes out of the wood with it for that one. Impossible. Um, just in the other games, then Wolves are beating Brighton one nil um, at um, Molyneux. Uh, Chelsea two one up against Leeds, um, and Liverpool nil nil against Southampton. Um, on that Liverpool game, obviously Andy's very much of the let's face him, let's beat him. I know you can be a bit nervous of, of those sorts of games and you your reaction to losing isn't particularly good. Is it no, part of you not. that thinks it might be safer to lose to Forrest than to get back? No, 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 no. I, don't, I don't do that. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> no, 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 no he's no not chance. like that. We're not Old Trafford. Nah, you can't, you can't, you can't, We're Old Trafford. If it was Anfield, I would be like in that maybe that department. But no, no, no. If we get through this, Old Trafford. Now, you know what, Andy? I think it just boils down to I just don't want 
United to lo- ever intentionally lose a game. Mm. I'm not Do saying I mean? intentionally. Do you know what I mean? I like, I'm, I, 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 I want to beat Forest and have a chance at beating Liverpool. Simple yeah. as and stay in the competition because it's the only competition that we've got left that we have an opportunity of winning. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, maybe that's and just me easier being draw. Ob- Man City yeah. got Newcastle. Sheard is not too happy about that as well. So yeah, it's if we get through a big gut, someone's going out and it, mm-hmm. it makes the competition a lot easier for Manchester City, doesn't it? Yeah. Just looking at, uh, at some of the stats then, United XG um, and possession is better than, than Forest United with the 0.96, basically a one XG. And a good chunk of that came from that McTominay header, which was a 0.35 XG, which for a header is very, very high. It was about six or seven yards out, centre of the goal, uncontested, should he have scored that? Or you how many shots has McTominay had in that first half? That was what I was going to look at. If I I'll have a look now. I think he's had, he's had two headers, hasn't he? I know that they've had. He's had four shots. Because um, we've averaged conceding shots wise. We've it's been like probably is it 17, 18 shots a game we've been conceding. Yeah, somewhere in that twenty so, region. Isn't it? And um, I think Forest already have twelve. They have twelve so far. A yeah. lot of them have been speculative. A couple have been blocked, but it's just the opportunity you give teams and. Uh, <laughs> I think shots and XG, they're both useful in, in, in different extents because obviously XG shows the quality of chances as opposed to just yeah, shooting I mean, on sight. But it doesn't, it doesn't always matter because you can play against, we could play against Forest today. We have two we have two XG, miss all our chances. They have 0.5 XG and they put the ball in net and, and they put the ball in net from two opportunities that they might not have scored, but you've given them the opportunity to shoot. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You've you've, you've given them the opportunity to have a shot, you know, and that's yeah. that's that's the concern because a lot of people have, <coughs> have kind of bit back on the um, the whole shots argument, saying, "Well, oh, but people are just shooting from anywhere against us." And I mean, it's not been that been good crisp. You know I mean? this, this first half, it's been crisp in the chances we created. Yeah. yeah. That's I'll give them that. We've been good with that, but everything else, no, no. Well, so you think that eventually, even if they're only speculative, yeah, I, I feel like any time shots. that you allow a team to have a shot on goal is an opportunity to concede, no matter how. Um, how close they are to goal and stuff like that. You've seen people, you've seen efforts from long range go in, you've seen from short range, it doesn't really matter. You've seen McTominay miss from six yards out, they could score a goal from 25 yards out, but it's just you give um, the opposition a chance to shoot, then you always run the risk of conceding. So that's the problem with the fact that we do concede that many opportunities. Yeah, and, and it was nil nil uh, in, the, uh, in the Christmas, uh, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve game, wasn't it? Mm. So it's like, but in that game, to be fair, Man United didn't do much, and neither did Nottingham Forest. Did where it was like we were so it's the same sort of pattern from that game in that first half. United huffed and puffed and didn't do nothing. Then the second half, Forest took control in that league match. Yeah, we can't let that happen tonight. Obviously, yeah, you, you don't lose league games, but you can't lose cup games. Cause nah, we're, we're, we're and the thing about today in that first half, yeah, I don't, I didn't really see much wrong with the team kind of setup wise and structurally. It just seemed like. This is very much a player, yeah. Poor, poor performance, poor execution, poor decision kind of performance today. Like I'm not really looking at apart from um, selections. I don't think there's like a I can see a, an obvious structural problem today. It's just the fact that you've got Amrabat playing left back, and then you've got um, yeah. and he's having trouble against Origi. You've got Rashford up front, who he isn't made to play up front in this team because we know what his body language is like. He's a bit. He's a sulker. His shoulders drop. He's um. He's, he's very stroppy and he doesn't react well to adversity at all. I said this before the game as a concern and then Alan Shearer literally mentioned it mm. halfway into the first half. When you're playing up front, especially on your own for most teams, especially when you're playing for the United team now, you're not going to get much service, you're not going to get much opportunities. So, so you need to, I think like someone like Hoyland where he's an honest player, he's young, he's bright, he's going to run still, he's yeah. going to work hard. Rashford playing up front in this current st- structural um, setup of United, you get what you get in the first half where a couple of balls don't go his way or he doesn't get the ball at one or two occasions and all of a sudden he's, he gives up almost. It's like he's not bothered and he's like, it, it, it's not it's not great optics. Yeah, I, th- I think as well, yeah. this, there's been certain times this team where, because now obviously what, since we saw, it's not just Monday Night Football obviously, but that was a big sort of public version of the sort of mm. an- analysis and you know, chats we've been having in the office and on camera and stuff for, for a while. Mm. 
but now I'm sort of looking for how are United pressing, where are the gaps, where are the the Forest players, and like you said, I'm not seeing a terrible setup to be because honest. It, but, well, but well, there's been too many times where the ball gets played up and their striker wins it ahead of our defender, or there's a there's a pass available and we miss it and it goes to their like. It seems like it is some a, of it a personnel th- issue a little bit tonight. Yeah, but some of it like you see you see glimpses of, of the same issues, and I think some of some of them have been probably masked by the fact that Forrest have been quite poor on yep. the ball is, and they they could have been sharper and they could have been better um, even when they've had opportunities to break. They've still caught us out a couple of times. Um, they're not really a possession-heavy team anyway. I think they're waiting to transition on us. Mm. And um, I think it's just a comb- It usually is a personnel and, and a structural issue most weeks. But I, I still think it's more players playing poorly because you've yeah. got McTominay who's a goal threat and he's getting in a box but he's sloppy on the ball you've got um, Amrabat playing left back who's strong against Riga. like I said you've got Rashford kind of being sloppy up front you've got Anthony who do actually do, 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 doing nothing I don't think I don't think he's been great but I don't think he's been that bad Anthony. to Anthony yeah um, that's the, but the thing is when I watched Anthony's performance in that first half I yeah. was saying what could, what has Anthony done in that first half that Ahmad can't because from like a pro start a game for you from a, from a pro- nah, cuz from a pro- profile point of view um Anthony and Ahmad are similar in terms of they're not really like byline 1v1 wingers they're very like almost like ball retention keeping the ball yeah skillful one twos giving giving and going cutting inside yeah and that's all that Anthony's done today he's really got the ball either passed backwards played through or like just went inside and like played it along and I'm the looking ball at through to McTominay didn't he into the, the box but there's been also a few times where he's let um, Truffle is that his name yeah. he's let the left back go a little bit um, defensively as well and I just don't see from an impact standpoint what Anthony brings that um, we will Ahmad can't yeah I, I don't disagree with that um, just looking through the rest of the team Bruno Fernandes hasn't looked right to me and he hasn't for a while, but I wonder if he... Do you think he's carrying an injury? There was a talk of it, wasn't there, before the game? Or do you just... What do you make of Bruno's form recently? Uh, Bruno's form, yeah. Well, I, I watched the club the other day, and Adam made a good point, man. Captain material, when you should... He's moaning, shouting, throwing his arms, having a go at the referee at the end of the match, when it was clearly a performance of you and your teammates, yeah. which caused the result on Saturday. Not impressed last few games with Bruno. Yeah, you know, not, you know it's in him to turn it on, but you know it's in him to throw an issy fit and, and throw his ties out of the pram, just yeah. like Marcus Rashford. Yeah, we need him to turn it on at the minute, don't we? Um, I'm just going to get into some of the comments. Someone, Andy saying, Amrabat's way overweight. I, want, I don't think I see that. Yeah, he, look, he, 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 looks a bit, he looks a bit heavy footed. And he's not played in a while as well, so that, that doesn't help. And he's playing out of position, but that also doesn't help. But um, I think some at some some points the game looks like it goes a little bit too fast for him. Well, if maybe you coming on might be an option. Yeah, maybe. I think McTominay th- again. It's that duality Cass- of Casemiro done nothing. Well, no, he hasn't. But I can't imagine having Manu and McTominay as a midfield. I can't. I don't think Ten Hag would like that. Yeah. But you, you look at McTominay and a handful of times he's st- we're trying to break out from the back and he, he misplaces a pass and we have to I mean, start I mean, that again. Set plays as well have been absolute garbage. I mean. One of our set guys, set, set player guys, he's gone to Washington, he's gone to America, the MLS, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah. And it's like, you see that, we had a set piece, Bruno just puts it in, and the keeper catches it. Yeah, it wasn't uh, great. And it's absolutely, like I say, a lot of work needs to be done on set pieces for, for next season. It's weird, isn't it? Because like, the top teams in the league are also the best at set pieces now, aren't they? Yeah. Like I always Arsenal, said this, City, I always said Liverpool. this look, look, yeah. there's no excuse for any of this. You've had one game a week since Christmas. No style of play, no patterns. The only game where we've shown any capability was Wolves. And we nearly blew that uh, yeah. that game. One game a week and you still can't continue a style of play week in, week out. Even all that, we've been on a little bit of a run. We've been scrapping and getting results, which is good for confidence. But this is no... There's no style of play week in, week out. One game a week, it's it's not good enough. No. And in, uh, because I, I looked at the first half and thought Forrest put in like if I feel like if Forrest played the way they did in that first half against better opposition or the better sides in the Premier League, they'd be at least one nil down. Yeah, it just feels like we don't have the quality to punish punish them. We haven't got the quality and, even yeah. on think, Saturday. Is that Ahmad coming on there? Looks like it. I think yeah. Ahmad and Mainu look like they're both pulling the socks up, tying the boots. Looks like they're both coming on, although. 
Mina's got a bigger jacket on. <laughs> the, you, know, you know what the problem is with this Ahmad drama and stuff? It's like he's not been given an opportunity at all. And then what happens is it's, it's just how part and parcel with football. Like he's going to come on in the, f- in the second half and he's under so much pressure. Yeah, because people You've got, have, yeah, have, yeah, yeah. have now inflated his quality. Not, no, I'm not, not, I'm not even that. Not even that. I'm talking about just like uh, because of the position he, we're in. He's gonna, he's coming on, and he's, he's like, I know the manager doesn't fancy me too much. Yeah, I've got to be a nine out of ten to have a sniff, and then I think when okay, you go into okay, a game yeah. like that, you, you, you can be a little bit tense. Yeah, play a little bit safe, and you're not even like, you're not even match sharp because you're not playing too often. Well, so. he's barely played. Yeah, it, it, when's the last time he played? Even sixty minutes in the Premier League. Yeah, two years ago, three years ago. I don't know. We'll speak to Andy. Um, we'll hear from him after the game as well. We'll get Jay back in in just a second. But the second half has kicked off. McTominay winning an early header. Um, yeah, Forrest with the ball, just playing it around the back a little bit. Hopefully, we'll see a bit more at United. Rashford sprinting toward their keeper, which is good to see. A bit of a uh, bit of legs going there. You see there, Mainu and um, uh, Ahmad both pulling their socks on. Look at nice. that come nice. on We'll have that as well, that little pass there. Um yeah, makes sense. Like let's try and win it and obviously, you know, not not go to extra time either, which doesn't help anyone. Yeah, we can't be doing with that. So you've cool. got oh, some lucky there. Uh just play that pass a step late there, Garner. We've chill. all been saying we wanted to see Diallo, haven't we? Mainu's an obvious one as well, if you're gonna make a change. Who are you bringing him on for? Um that's a good question. I'll probably eat my words there, but maybe McTominay. Yeah. I think maybe Casemiro. But Do you reckon? I think quality-wise, you've got to think McTominay, haven't you? Yeah. Surely. I know like he's he got a goal in him, but I just don't think in terms of the, the midfield and the build-up plays, it's just it's good enough. No. Unless you were to do something drastic like try, which a few people have suggested, taking off Marcus and sticking McTominay up front, but I don't know what that, what that says to Marcus either. Yeah. To be honest with you, I know. <laughs> or you could shuffle it completely, and it could be like Andy comes off, Ganacho goes on the right, Marcus goes on the left, and McTominay goes in the middle. Yeah. I mean, this is that there sums it up. Is that Rashford? No, it was. I, I think it was Scott McTominay. What was it? Casemiro just getting absolutely skinned there. He gets dribble past so much now. He has. I noticed Casemiro. that in the first half a couple of times. Uh-huh. I don't know if he's reluctant to make a challenge or whatever, or he just knows he's not going to make it. He, the, I think Varane has done it for a while, but he runs like his knees hurt him all the time, Varane. Yeah. You, know, you know, he doesn't pick his, his knees up at all when he's sprinting, does he? No. He sort of shuffles his feet along. He's got a slightly strange style when he's actually sprinting. Casemiro started doing it. <laughs> like, he doesn't pick his knees. Like, is he, are his hips and his knees aching in his old age or something? Like, they look like they can't sprint anymore. No. Like, there, he's just, he just runs out to the play. Like, Fred used to do this all the time where they just run, whoever's got the ball, just sprint at them. And all you have to do is knock it. Yeah, and yeah. And just be around you. It's like they're just diving in all the time. It's like quite sort of lazy defending when you can't really be asked to sort of jockey someone or turn and sprint back to your own goal. So you just dive in. So then you, at least you've made a decision. Then if yeah, you win it, yeah, amazing. Yeah. And you know you're not going to, but at least I went for it. Like Luke Shaw does that when he's... When he's then when he's not on form and he's just being a bit... He's not going to get there to that. It's a silly ball, that. Oh, That's better, than McTominay. Go on. And obviously oh, he gives yeah. it away. Jesus Christ. Oh, good to hear the Scousers are winning as well, so... Good. <sighs> I don't know what... Pull it back. Oh, done that no, a lot today. He's just ran into trouble there, Gannacho. The pass is on. Bad, the, bad decisions, yeah, yeah, yeah. McTominay's open there, wide open in the middle. Lay it back. Forrester in here. Good sh- good save from Anana. Surely Anana can be cl- claiming that. I won you there. Victor Lindelof's trying to play an offside trap and Dallow's five yards behind him. <laughs> Dallo goes with the man. Lindelof plays an offside trap, which means there's a massive gap in behind Victor Lindelof that just gets completely exposed there. And it's essentially a free shot. Ascent, again, essentially, straight at Onana. 
look at the warning there, nah, really. <sighs> Did the right thing now, Diogo Dalot. We're going to lose this, aren't we? It's just one of little just like signals like, like, like again. giving the ball away, bad decision making, and so then do we play an offside track? A do we bit, not? Disjointed. Like we, don't know, we don't know what we're doing, do we? No. And we missed some good chance in that first half as well. That McTominay header in particular. Yeah, that's probably been the chance of the game so far. Corner to Forest again. We need to find a way to stop conceding so many shots, don't we? We can't we can't stay like this. Onana oh, no. punches it, not quite out for a throw in, no, they've kept it in. Well blocked. Go on, Marcus, keep going. Go on then, push up now. The keeper's got the ball. Can we win this? Booted it long. Where'd he go? It's just, just stupid that. It's a bad touch that in it from McTominay. His mm. goals, he's, he's the right side of his man. He gets the ball and just, just hits him and goes out. Forrest getting into this game more and looking more confident. Oh, for fuck's sake, Absolutely. he's got away from him. Absolutely destroyed him there. Arigi Thankfully. Has, was that Casemiro? Yeah, yeah, it was. Destroyed him. I think it'll be Casemiro that comes off for me, you know. I think he, he should be. Looks as well. gone. He looks knackered, Casemiro. That he absolutely destroyed him there. That's gonna. That's getting clipped up on Twitter, isn't it? That just yeah, a hundred percent. That's a gif. I'll hey, do that. Fucking hell. <sighs> Sad in it as well. I love Casemiro last season. <laughs> and already we've got we just it's getting absolutely divocarigid on a fucking Wednesday. Night. Oh! We can't keep the ball. We can't make no, a No, this is just embarrassing. This. Yeah. They've. We, I don't think United have touched the ball since fucking half time, have we? Look at this. Mate, now you've got fucking yeah, Diego fucking Maradona in the middle of the park there, also known as Gibbs White. I don't know what's happening here. Would you call that a micro fringe? What that the, the ref's got. <laughs> micro because if you look if you look side on it's just like literally like like li little four like hairs a cow's lick or whatever they call it yeah but yeah. barely even that there's, there's nothing to it whatsoever what's happening I need to see this again Arrigo and Casemiro oh no oh, for fuck's sake oh no Thankfully, his shot was straight out. If he just scored, he just scored oh, nah. that, Casemiro don't get on the team bus on the way home. He's walking. He's got to walk. I'm so glad we haven't seen a close-up slow-mo of the skill. I think he did like a little... He won't try and catch a ball either, will he? Um, oh, no. No. No, he never does, does he? Yeah. <laughs> no matter Comes what. Like I know that was slow-mo, but I don't think it was that no. hard. If his girlfriend throws him the remote, he punches it across he the room. <laughs> If his girlfriend Ouch! <laughs> he, he can't catch anything. What's the <laughs> Go on. What's the best thing to throw? What do you mean? Like what object in the world is the thing you think you could fucking throw the furthest? What's the best thing to throw? Like I can get this further than anything. Yeah, like a Cadbury's cream egg is one people always say, isn't is it? Is it? It's a great shape, great weight. I think like a snooker ball is quite good. It's heavy. It's too think, heavy though, surely. Reckon? No, I don't think it's that heavy. Really? I think like Maybe it's Maybe a pull ball. You need a, yeah, a pull ball. Because you need a bit of weight on it. Because yeah. it's got weight on it. It'll go a bit further. A golf ball not, as well. Yeah, if it's not too heavy. Yeah, I worked for that one, son. Fucking hell. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Hey? Fucking hell. I'm about I'm to about just play it like 10 yards away from him. Fucking... That's a foul. 
Someone said a bowling ball. Don't be ridiculous. A bowling ball? Someone Lucky just said... You can get that a, to a, the other side of the room. A, a flat pebble with a sharp edge. A water balloon. A water A balloon. tin of beans. You can't throw a tin of beans. One of them little tin of beans would be good. What, the little microwave like, like pots? little puck size ones. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Because you could probably throw like little roll of fingers in that. I think an, an overcooked McDonald's hash brown. I could Do whiz that bastard through the air, yeah. I think Jeez. the answer might be cabbage cream egg, though. Do you reckon? Yeah, or just a hard-boiled egg. I reckon a cabbage post. cream egg would be better than a hard-boiled egg. Why? Because it's lighter. No, I think a cabbage cream egg would be a little bit, a slightly little bit heavier. Just, just enough. Mm. You, you need a bit like of weight. You like, like oh, tangerine's a good shout. Tangerine's definitely a good shout. Tangerine is a good shout. There they are. Look, referees. Mark Clattenberg, referee oh. analysis. Nottingham Forest. Fuck off. Someone's not playing within I the spirit of the game. I hate every single yeah. bit of that sentence. Someone's not playing within the spirit of the game instead of javelin. That's just silly, that, isn't yeah, it? That's, hey, that's obvious. Shit, that. Is the javelin the furthest? That goes the furthest, isn't it, out of all of them? Or what, what goes the furthest? Is it hammer no, or javelin the, or discus? The object that's got the world record for being thrown the furthest is the um, hammer. Aerobi Pro Frisbee, I think. Really? I think so, I'm yeah. shit at Frisbee. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm really bad. Someone says a big booty. <laughs> How far can you throw that? Jesus Christ. Ross Murphy, has Mark Clattenburg got fatter? Um, yeah, probably. Since when, though? Depends when you mean, doesn't it? He's got, a, he's got a bit of a tan, hasn't he? What is that? Like, referee analysis. What's he, what's he doing? Saying don't commit fouls and that? Like, if you handball it in a penalty area, it's a fucking f penalty. I really like, couldn't what? say. Oh, my God. Oh, we're so shit. This second half has been shit for Man United. We've not done a single good thing in the second half. Corner. He's got to make some changes, man, because it's just fucking... Um, game's getting away from us. Does he give a goal kick? Two pound coin. That's a good one, that. Yeah. That's a good one. That's got a bit of weight to it. Yeah. Because they need that. I feel that'd be better than a 2p or something. Well, yeah, yeah, because of the depth. Yeah, the yeah. Thickness. You need that. That's a really good shout. Yeah, I like that. Golf ball, obviously. Tennis racket. That's quite... They are quite good to throw, aren't they? They are just sort of like end over end and it's just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's good, actually. Man United are good at throwing a game. There you go. Nice. Nicely done. Right, I wonder if you know... I reckon one of them hammers, you know, them little hammers that you smash the glass on the coach with. Oh, yeah. That'd be good. Because that's small, but I reckon yeah. you get Because it's got a better. weighted heavy end as well. Yeah. It's, it's flipping over. Yeah. I think that could go somewhere. A break glass hammer. Yeah. Fucking yes. That's not a bad shout, actually. Go on then, Amber Brat. What you got, lad? Yes. That's a ball, that. This is, we've stringed about four passes together. Fucking Strong. hell. We'll have to have a day off tomorrow. The last for a day yeah. off again, like we did yeah. after Fulham. I remember when we did that fucking seven pass move against Forest. So we've got to have a day off. Right. Uh, boss. We thought we'd send some of the senior players into your office. We actually, yeah, I know we lost the game, but we had a we had six passes in a row, and then Anthony hits it straight. Straight keeper. in the keeper, fucking hell! Do Just I look typical. a bit like that goalie, Matt Turner? Is it Matt Turner? Yeah, no, not at all. Are you sure? I don't think so. You don't? No. Why? Who says you do? I'm not saying anyone says. Hey, up, Marcus. Ooh. Penalty! Ooh. Penalty referee! Ooh, that's close, that! I don't know what he's hurt, but that's close, that. It's one of them, they, they're not going to give that, are they? If it's VAR, we might see it, but in, in real time, refs don't give them ones anymore. We've just got to hope there's a trip or something in there along the way. I'd that looks close it. to I'd me, I'd have to that. see it again. It's a lot, there was a lot of force and a lot of like, impact. It was clumsy either way, but yeah. it might just be... Not quite a foul foul. Just both of them sort of half foul on him. Is Rashford stayed down? Right, let's check this fucker then. He wants to come off Rashford. So what happens here? Is it is the VAR? There is surely. It's a good ball from Dallow. Slightly behind him actually. Mm, I don't know, you know. Let's have a look here. Mm. There's not a lot in it. No, I no, just no. feel like they both come together. Do they foul? Do they hit sort him? Of pushes him into their play. I don't think it is a foul. It's not. Honest. It's not clear cut. No. I, I don't see what the obvious injury would be. Oh, to be fair, he's not really going for the ball, Danilo, is he? He just runs into Rashford, but I don't think it's quite enough for a penalty. 
I don't. I, I certainly don't think they'll give it. No, no, it's not. United last couple of minutes just passing the ball around a little bit more. What do you think dinner time's like at Ten Hag's house last few months? Oh, horrible. Yeah. I reckon it's fucking proper depressing. I reckon he stopped doing the tactics thing with the salt shakers and that. He don't even do that anymore. Yeah. He's fucked that off. Can't be asked. Oh, they used to love that as well, didn't they? She's like, he's missing like, Eric, come on, why don't you show us your formation? He's like, oh, fuck. fuck off. Knocking it over and that. Just knocking, carry on. I'm knocking it off the table like a little soup. cat. Fuck off. Just, the, the noise of cutlery on plate yeah. is overwhelmingly loud in that yeah. place isn't there yeah. no chat whatsoever yeah. it's just cutlery on plate <laughs> every so often just screaming for his son to come down and get off the xbox but he never does him his wife and, a, and a, a, a plate of fish fingers that's slowly getting cold and just cutlery on plate so loud god it must be horrible get the aloe one i've seen enough i have i haven't seen um, enough of him but i've seen no, enough, I've of, seen enough of this shite He's having, I think he's, he's kicking off with a linesman there. It's an like, saying, why didn't you give that? Yeah, I think he is. What do you think he hurt there? I couldn't see what he, what obviously would have been hurt. I think they might have caught his rib. He right. seems to be holding his rib and then he got sort of, he got sort of sandwiched, didn't he? Yeah. It wasn't a clear cut, like, if you're looking at the legs, I don't know if any of them like took his legs. It yeah. seems to be they just came together. He's a, he's a player that seems to be in pain a lot, isn't he, yeah. Oxford? I wonder whether he's, he's sort of constantly playing through injuries just as part of his general career and body. Yeah, there was always that sort of idea, wasn't there, with, especially under Ollie, that he was playing all the time when he was injured. Yeah. Yeah, damaged vertebrae when he played against, came on against Wolves, which was just fucking insane. Um, but, yeah, he just looks... And I don't know how much of that was almost annoyance that he's not got a foul and trying to get it or whatever. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> Bruno looks pissed off as well now these days, doesn't he? Well, that's a foul, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, then. Don't let them come out here. That's all right. Force them into a mistake. We were new. Come on, Eric, make these fucking changes. Yeah, we need like, here. Get Mainu and the Alla one. It's been so sluggish second half, hasn't it? Yeah. <sighs> Wherever the ball goes to that's feet, I worry. Come on, then, find him. Now what? What's the next pass? And why do I get the feeling Scott McTominay didn't mean any of that? No, I know. <laughs> he turned and he looked like he went to pass it, but the ball just stuck under his foot and he ended up spinning his man instead. Don't hit it. Yeah, that's all right. Ball out wide, cross it in. Oi! <laughs> We're being restricted to these though, aren't we now? I, th I think... I was thinking, play it out to Dallow on the right. And then you think, who's he crossing it into? I suppose McTominay's there. Just didn't want to use his left, did he? No. This whole fucking, oh yeah, after that pisses me off. What, high five in? Like, high shot. Yeah, after that, him and fucking, I don't know, it's like they just fucking scored. <clears throat> Ooh, hold on. No, come on now. Cover <laughs> <laughs> about proper stretching for that one, eh? Hey. Oh, oh, God. Dear. Not, not a great game for Garnacho today, I must no, say. No, he hasn't really got he, going, has he? No, I think he's it's I think he's been a lot, very improved over the last couple of months actually, but he's been poor today. A lot of like misplaced passes and yeah. runs into blind alleys. I wonder whether he's a bit knackered as well though. I don't I don't but also he looks kind of how he's, he looked at the start of the season when he was playing on the left. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if that's part of it. And he, and he also, yeah, he very well could be knackered. He's played nah, every he week. He's played a lot, hasn't he? Yeah. I expect, you know, against Fulham, he ran himself into the ground. I know he, he was probably our best player against Fulham. I know it was just fucking, it was a low bar, but he at least looked up for it. Yeah. 
Trenton looks like a sort of a kid's drawing of a stadium, doesn't it? Doesn't look like something off a fucking computer game. Right? Yeah, it does. Too sort of square <laughs> and perfect and like. Right, go on then. That's a good little dummy. And a poor ball though, isn't it? Oh, fuck off. Go on, go on. Oh, let's go. That'll do. Well, then, go on, go on. Go on, keep going. Oh, no. Never, n- none of them ever really had it under control properly, no, did they? No, did they fuck? That's been the story of our life this half. Yeah, yes. Hold well on. It's just fucking here. No, hope half the time. Right. Go. All right, keep the ball. There's no way. Right, go on, I'm the bat. <laughs> Don't <laughs> laugh at him. Is he a professional footballer, Jay? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, that pass was on there. Go on, Amrabat. Go on, son. Go on, Rashford. Marcus. Rashford. Well done. That's the one. Right, go on, Marcus. Now what? We've been in this position a lot. Find him. Yeah, that's good. This is better. This is better. Back to Bruno. Side foot. Oh! <sighs> is that McTominay? That was better. That that was that was much better. A bit of composure in the box, not just hitting it, playing it to people's feet, making runs off the ball. That was a lot better from United. Like actually making a chance. Oh, oh. let's put it. Out. We're not going in the bottom corner. I think, pro- I think that might have been going in. That. I think if he dummies it, it's probably in. The keeper's not seen it at all, has he? Oh. Fucking hell. We'll never know now he's put it <laughs> wide. You know what? I put it wide for you because I think the keeper probably would have saved it anyway. Yeah. So why risk it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Don't want you to look embarrassed him saving your shot. So let's give them a fucking nice goal kick. Yeah. A juicy little goal kick. And we'll win the ball back nice and quick. Been a little bit better the last few minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we have. Still allow a lot of this though, don't we? Yeah. My worry with these is when when the opposition, typically when oppositions actually end up um, on the ball, they fall on the ball. They end up with a shot. Luckily, they didn't there, but the poor ball. Find him then. That's all right. Well done. Go on, Anthony, make a run. <laughs> What's that? Oh, fucking the hell! You can pass to there. He's fucking stupid. Him putting it behind all three of them, and then he goes like that, like it's their fault. How oh, fuck off! That? Thank He's you. Offside, good, well done. Victor Lindelof's classic offside trap. <laughs> it's actually worked at the third time of asking. <laughs> Victor Lindelof's lone offside trap. Yeah. And Dallow almost plays him on again. He's trying his he, best. Fucking hell. It's cl- in fact, he might do that. If he just played the first time, the exact same thing would have happened there. Yeah. Where Lindelof steps up and Dallow just runs after him. That They need to have a that chat was about close, that. that you know. They literally need to just say, whoever's the most senior player, this is how we're doing it. Or Varane, Dallow, you fucking playing him on side every time. If we're stepping up, step up. So I just, like... Just guess, you you know, work it out <laughs> between you. Just guess. guess. Just, yeah. If we're meant to be dropping off, do that. And if we're not, we can't one do That's one the and the other do the Easy. other. This right, is better. Go on, go on pass back Tommy. in the middle if you want it. Not go on, ball. son. Go on, my son. Right now, run off the ball. Yeah, in, good. This is better. Good running. Oh, Fuck you're, off. You're not, you're not humanly capable of that. What? Never a foul. Was there a foul Soft. There? Oh, is it? I was about to say it didn't look like a fucking foul. I mean, I'm adding Maynard were putting their socks on at half time. Where are they? 
it takes a while. <laughs> Just got to test the elastic and all that. <laughs> Fact, I think they need ironing. Get the holes get, in the back of them. Get that iron out. Fucking going on the pitch like this. Are you mad? Get your thoughts in the comments. Go on, Marcus. Someone said we used to be good. Shit, this is depressing, says Sam Zed. Yeah, it's just two mid-table teams slugging it out, innit? That's a fucking ball. There That's you go. Oh, fuck me. Was just, what was that? That's that a, that'll do. It's a corner. Do you know when people say, oh, if I played for United, I'd get 10 goals in the season. If I played for City or whatever. Yeah. That touch gone actually then would be what the average person would do every single time the ball came to him. Yeah. Because f- professional footballers at this level pass it harder to each other as just a normal pass than you've ever been passed before yeah, yeah. in your entire life. The yeah. little P-rolls you get at five a side. That you can put it for, yeah. It's not like that. And if they do, you lose possession all the time. Yeah. <laughs> they absolutely ping it at each other constantly. That's better. Oh, that's, that, you know what? No one there... Good cross into a good area that from United from uh, Garnacho he did well there and again and again and again. No, that's not gonna go, is it? Fucking hell, man! It's a pass back that. Oh. It's like it's so soft. Yeah, literally straight at the keeper on it. That's the sort of shot he does in the last minute when you want goal up. I know, and then they score from it. <laughs> they go to the other end and win. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Scott. Go on, Scott. Yeah, fuck him. Let him stay yeah, down. No one cares. Run past. Go on, Anthony. Go on, son. Bruno. Oh. What's the, what? Oh. That was a better chance. That. I know what he's happened there? Yards out, but he's clear there. There's no one near him. You need a better connection than that. I don't even know what happened there. Did he just miss it, it or did it God, hit someone? Tomine, absolutely. Hey, no one him. fucks with Scott McTominay. <laughs> Hey. Except Scott McTominay. Stay there, stay he down, son. He stepped over Get his head as well. Yeah. McTominay didn't need to do that. If that was a basketball game, you'd oh my God, for it's a just foul there. Genuinely the worst shot I've ever seen in my life. McTominay just stepping over his head as he's on the floor. Have a bit of that. Yeah, yeah and enjoy that, you soft bastard. There's just more where that came from. <laughs> hey, go on, his Scott. Biceps as he goes past. He was coming off now. Anthony. Yeah. I'm mad. I don't think he's been great today, Anthony, but he's not been as bad he's as he has been. He's not been as been. shit as he's been accused of. Yeah. Should um, we say? Danny Wilde yeah. says, who's the better captain, Bruno Fernandes or Gerard? Fuck off. How many titles has Bruno cost us? None. How many times has Bruno been sent off at Anfield after 68 seconds? None. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. How many times has you know, Go on. Bruno had a failed managerial career in Saudi Arabia? Hey. None. I mean, you know it's not I mean? failed yet, technically, but it's not going well, is it? And they won, like, two games since time began. <laughs> um, unfortunately, obviously, Gerard has done a lot more as captain than Bruno has. Um, <laughs> Why ask that question? <laughs> Did he just want us to fucking say Bruno? I think he I will. wanted us to yeah. say Bruno. Well, I will do. Who's, yeah. be- who's a better player? Who's No, not a better player. No. Better captain, better leader, Bruno yeah. or Gerard? Bruno. <laughs> Good lad. Uh, Colossa Geraldo. You can give me all the daggers you want, you scouse kit. Hey, I've, I am shameless, bro. No, you are shameless. Do you know if I took a lie detector, I'd pass. <laughs> yeah, you, you believe it. <laughs> he believes what he's saying. Um, Josh Watkin <laughs> says, campaign to change the name of the offside trap to Victor Lindelof's offside trap. Like it's some old sort of um, Wild West tincture that they're going around town. So Do you remember when Victor Fergie Lindelof's said, offside trap. Do you remember when, what was it Fergie said about Filippo Izzag? He was born offside. Yeah. You don't get that nowadays with managers, do you? Just trolling opponents. Slagging <laughs> people off to their face. <laughs> born uh, it's just, it's just unnecessarily being horrible. <laughs> you were born Moss side, weren't you? No. Uh, Ronnie, you were, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Similar to being born offside, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Billy Simo, who's been remembered for 22 months. Thank you, Billy. Great support. We appreciate it, man. He says, say what you want about McTominay, but at least he's willing to clart some mid-table fodder for the badge. That's what we've missed. Not enough clarting mid-table fodder for the badge. Uh, fodder for the badge. Uh, so who came off then? Just he's a mad player, you McTominay. Like, yeah, I've never known a player like him. Ooh, Leeds have equalised against Chelsea. 
God, that's a fucking derby where you want both of them to lose. Well, not yeah. a derby, but a game, I should say. I would rather... Go on! Help him out. Who's there for him? Who would you rather win that? Um, Who have they got in the next round? I'd rather Chelsea, just because Chelsea potentially could, on beat their day, beat Liverpool. one of the other teams awesome. if we can. And I still think we can beat Chelsea. Yeah. Weirdly, Chelsea's like good against big teams thing hasn't worked against us, has it? Like it seems, it feels like almost every time we play them, we just batter them. Yeah, we've I got. Think a we, pretty I know good. we drew. Didn't we, we, we used to have. We had a horrendous record against Chelsea for years. Yeah. We went nine games. Ooh. Um, at Stamford Bridge, losing all nine, I think it was at one point. That was under Fergie. Are they checking this or are they just showing it? No, no I was not say. fucking having any of it. It it, it won a penalty. No. Um, and they had a pretty good record against us full stop yeah. under Jose and, and well mainly under Jose to be fair I think they're still the team that we've got the worst record against in the Premier League really uh, it certainly was me. as of there was, only there was, a few years ago I remember ago. there yeah. was honestly I went to I remember once going to Stamford Bridge twice in six months or not even that when we played them in both cups and we got knocked out of both it was yeah. fucking horrible good touch Ahmad Oh, that was your moment, son. That was your moment, get son. Follow it. Get Anthony back on. To get it in. Get Anthony back on. Run over to that. Tanag doing a shush. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Shh. Or like that. Like Sevens did that time. Like that. We're going to have a bit of that. Imagine <laughs> if he did that, just went over and then Tanag just took him off straight away. Tanag <laughs> fucking twatted him. <laughs> Tanag right, you can fucking chin, get man. off. That's the end of your United career. It would be as well, wouldn't it? Imagine that like, going up and shushing your own manager. <laughs> Hey. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. It's hard to ruin a career <laughs> in fifteen minutes with me at my Diallo. <laughs> this fucking stinks of a penalty shootout, doesn't this it? This stinks full stop, bro. It's it fucking terrible. <laughs> it this is, is like fucking Curzon Ashton versus fucking Gateshead. Wow. No disrespect to those two teams, by the way. Yeah, the quality of the quality of football on display is abysmal. It's not great, is it? No. It is. It's, it's sort of championship football. I'll be honest. Is it a foul? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did he get a book in? Yeah. To be fair, he's only just come on any Ahmad Diallo. Yeah. Right, that's, is that probably his first touch or one of them? He's got a healthy bit of blue bubble gum in his mouth. Uh. Is that allowed? Right, he does what he wants, Diallo. Surely no chewing on the pitch. Irigi was chewing gum, wasn't he? Was he? If he can fucking chew, so can Diallo. He got onto it and he thought, yeah, I'm not having this. Do you think you are? Free kick to Forrest, probably 35 yards out. I don't think there's not, no question of a shot. Clipped it to the back post. Headed away by. Oh, fuck off! Emma Vat. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, is it it? S Thank God that was smothered. straight at fucking O'Nana's stomach. Smothered it. Because that was the sort of shot where he'll just par parry it out. A grass cutter, as they call them, wasn't yeah. it? Go on, Amrabat. Yeah, go on, lad. Go on, Acho. Go on, get in that box. Get it in. Pull it back. <sighs> We're not really a sort of cross it and find a player team, are we? He's offside. Was he? No. I think so. Oh, no. Oh, fuck off. Super Forest, that's Hudson a Doy, isn't it? Hudson Adoy coming on for Origi. Divock Origi. Who looked good first sort of half an hour, didn't he? And then yeah, he's, he doesn't like he ran out of steam. Been out of it since. He's older than you think, you know, Hudson Adoy. I say he's 21. 21? No, uh, genuinely 23. No, 23. 3-2 Chelsea, 90th minute. Who scored? 
Conor Gallagher. Conor Gallagher. You can Gallagher. do it this weekend, can he? Yeah, you fucking Oh, you can score thicker. against championship teams. Why don't you score against Liverpool when you're about eight I mean, chances? to be fair, I fucking hate Leeds, so I'm glad he has. But yeah, but I'd rather they I beat know, Liverpool rather, and lost yeah. tonight. He was, he, the thing is, he was probably their best player, Gallagher, or one of. I thought mm. Gusto was good as well. And Gusto was very good. I was yeah. impressed with him. I actually thought, what's his name, centre-back was good and all. But I thought Gallagher was good. Yeah. But then just in the final minute, final moments, it wasn't enough. I mean, it's very difficult to do anything without corners. Yeah, it was. Fucking yeah. hell. It's bouncing just before the six yard right. box. Don't fuck me. Ah! This stinks That's of right. a fucking I calamity. I don't mind him just booting up there because that would that had. <laughs> I, I was scared him and Logan gonna run it. into each other. Yeah, me too. Knock each other out, and the ball was just gonna roll to the forest just soccer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Kaka against us that time. Oh, mate. Uh, oh, his touch let him down there. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie just said that's a touch we remember from Alanga. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, because if he had controlled that, we were in fucking trouble. <laughs> we're so good. <laughs> we're just such a competent, well drilled football team, aren't we? Come on then. What was, the, what was the fucking here. thing about Kobe Mainu coming on? Was that just bollocks? I don't know, he was pulling his socks up. That's all, all I right, saw. Okay. It definitely was. He was sat next to Ahmad, pulling his socks up. Right. They both were. I can't really work out who's playing where at the minute because Amarat looks like he's playing in midfield. But then I think he's also... I, can't, I don't even know. Casemiro looks like he's dropped into centre-back. Go on then, Rashford's in. Pulls it across. Oh. Fucking hell. Sliced it. It was wide, wasn't it? It was a tough one. Did well here, Bruno. Yeah, he did. It's a really good pass. That. Yeah, it's a very fair, good touch as well from Rashford. There, but yeah, he's got to go across the goal. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Because that way, someone else can help yeah, out. Exactly. And he's just, on his left foot, just sliced it. Yeah. Fucking high and wide. Keep going, son. Good bit of quality from Bruno there, though. Yeah, definitely. I couldn't be a manager, me. Fine. I'd make like three subs in five minutes, me, in the first fucking. Like, as soon as someone pissed me off, I'd be like, fuck, get him off. Get him off. I'm like, that, you know, use all your subs by half time. <laughs> Every week. Yeah. <laughs> he's done it again. He took the keeper off. And he's put a centre back on. <laughs> Do you have to have a keeper in a football match? <laughs> Genuinely, do you have to? Yeah, I think you do, yeah. Do you have to have yeah. a glove-bearing member of the yeah, team? Yeah, I think you... I mean, they don't have to wear gloves, I don't think. And they don't have to stay in their box? No. But they have to have a, a kit on? Who was it at the World Cup who took, like... Hey! Fucking oh. hell! I thought, um, was it Casemiro? Was that Varane? I thought that was gonna be nearly going to be an own goal. Yeah, man. I did. So you can have a goalkeeper play, was basically. It, was it someone who tried to be clever, like career or someone, where they took... They used one of their goalkeeping um, positions in their squad yeah. for an extra striker. But FIFA, I'm sure there's a rule like FIFA said, no, you, you can't do that. Like, you he's got to he's be a he's got to be a goalkeeper. Really? Like you have to register him as a goalkeeper. So they did that thinking. Oh, we'll just I'm about to give him the ball away, and he's won it back. Bloody hell! I'm not explaining. It. I'm sure there was a. Oh, I'm about. That'll do. That he's done all right. I'm about. Yeah, half. second half he's been probably our best player. Go back. It's a good cross. Out wide. He's just not, and you're not going to score from no, there. No, you're not. You? It annoys me that. You could, it's like, but you were not. Just build it up a little bit, man. Like, Diallo's right there. Give it him. Keep doing these fucking silly shots. Come on, then. you've got a bit of space here. Forrester looking a bit tired to me. They're not filling the gaps as quickly as they were first half. 
don't know if they're just getting a bit nervy or if they're getting a bit leggy, but United just having a bit more space, a bit more time on the ball. Go on, Diallo. Go on, my son. Take the fucking piss. <laughs> Why not, eh? Fuck it. Why is he doing that? That's Brilliant. fucking Sunday League build-up play, Fucking that. hoof it. Fuck it. Hoof it upwards. Like, ah, uh, I can't be arsed doing it else. And there's a quarter of a chance it'll work. Go on, Scott. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, fucking silky soccer. <laughs> Fuck Scott me. Scott tried to control the ball <laughs> and he just rolled his ankle instead. His Honestly, ankle just went that's what I mean. Doink? The guy is crazy, he's right? He's literally scored about 10 goals in the fucking World Cup qualifiers, whatever it was. Yeah. He scored fucking nine or something stupid for us this season. And there's times when you watch him and he looks like he's never played football before. It's mental. Yeah, it's mental. I've never seen such a fucking, like, massively inconsistent player. Oh. Get up. What's happened there? Just fucking fell over. He's all right. Oh, he's done him. He's done something there, hasn't he? I'll help him out. Fucking hell. Well done, Varad. Well, well done, Varad. Diallo. You did well there. Oh. Mark is asking for a foul. He's not going to get that. Who wins in a fight, Ted and Mengi or Scott McTominay? That's a question, that. Yeah. I don't know, man. Um, I always thought Ted and Mengi had a bit more about him in terms of him being a bit more of a scrapper, but... Oh, fuck off, he's onside! <laughs> Found fuck, he aimed, he I'm hit that straight down. Has he put his flag up now? On, he's what, sorry? All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Thank God for that. Because Ahmad was literally just not. He's miles off. He's not miles off. He's, he's off. He's though. comfortably he's off. off. Yeah. Again, though, who's who is it? Who's almost playing him on at the back post? Your friend of mine, Diogo Dallo. It's him every time, and every time they get a ball played in behind, Dallo is either playing him on or nearly playing. I him like. On. I think jo is he Johnny Evans going to come on here, and that makes a bit of sense to me. That. Yeah, Get a like bit of fucking organisation in that back line. Mainly we're just looking at Evans for... Inspiration. Yeah, and he'll get it. Look long enough, he'll find it. You think Dallow's meant to be like the last man or something? Surely not. I just, I just, I I like, listen, I like Diogo Delo, yeah. But I think... You know... In fairness, we have caught him offside both times, but it's always Dallow that's just about keeping him on. And then everyone else is... Three yards further He's up. got. He has got that about him, man. He's Diogo Dalot. Like he uses the torch on his phone to look for his phone. Yeah. That type of guy. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not being horrible, but I you get are. That. You are being. <laughs> you can't say you're not being horrible, Jay. You are being horrible. But I, you know what I mean? Like yeah. sometimes I get that impression that he's not. Not exactly. being horrible, but you're a twat. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You just said. I like the love. Like I do like the guy. He's a good guy. He's been on the channel. He's a fucking yeah. good guy. But, but he, when, he does when look a bit dozy his, at times. Yeah. He's my point. When yeah. he's when he's made his uh, cocoa pops, he puts them back in the fridge. <laughs> that kind of thing. Milk in the cupboard. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that kind of thing. I've done that before. Yeah. Man. I've gone to it later on in the day, there's just a fucking jar of milk in the fridge. Oh, referee! It's dirty ref! Elanga. He's always got that name. He should have been booked already Fuck once. Fucking hell. He took thingy out earlier. Who was it? Casemiro? Or? Yeah, that was like 85 minutes ago. Should be off Ooh, now. That's fucking that's, naughty, that That's ref. actually a yellow these days. Stands on the top of his foot. How much should we get for him? Was it 14 million? Something like that. One, probably our fifth greatest ever transfer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fucking hell. Free kick to United in that sort of Carabao Cup final area. <laughs> if you can call it that. This is the Casemiro zone, isn't right, it? Right, go on. He's on this Casemiro. But yeah, McTominay. McTominay. Yes! yes! Who is it? Fucking guessing! It's Casemiro! I knew it! I knew it! It's the Casemiro zone! He's fucking guessing! Look at that! There you go. Is he onside? That's the only question. Fucking guessing. I hope he is onside. He was he was stood offside, and then as Bruno absolutely runs in, called it, the fucking back. Carabao Cup Casemiro, it's the Casemiro zone. zone that. Hey, it is. Have a bit of that. He fucking. I tell you what. He won't score many bigger goals than that.
He's bleeding again, Casemiro. Look. He's been in the wars, the kid. Ah, it's oh. close. It's close, isn't it? And you know what? It's not a great cross, but it's also a great cross, that, isn't it? If you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, it's actually crap from Bruno, but oh. it's a great... Do you know what it is? It's just a great run from Casemiro. That's what it is. Just peels off. And their defender's head oh. is at two inches from getting that. Brilliant. Very good run from Casemiro because he runs late and he's sprinting to that near post, which is the only reason he gets it. Offside, Offside check. check. Yeah, this is the question, isn't it? I knew it would be. I've, I think that's somewhat subdued celebration, is, yeah. it? is he thinking? Didn't look he's like... He's thinking what we're thinking. Right, so it's good. They're looking at... They're gonna, they can't... Ah, is it? Is that what it's going to be? I don't know, because the person that Varane's blocking is, isn't involved. It's not the same as... I don't think it's the same as the Van Dyke one. Because Van Dyke blocked Colwell, who was the man directly in front of... Um, or Endo blocked Colwell, who was the man directly in front of Van Dyke. This is different. Varane isn't involved. I think they're going to struggle to draw a line here, though, because of Varane. That guy there that Varane's touching with his chest, he's playing him on, isn't he? Surely. I, I don't think they're going to be able to get a line here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't think there's a good enough angle to see where their player is. I think they have to give it. This might take fucking ages, this one, you know. It's like Arsenal versus Newcastle. I, I don't think they can see a line. Because you can't see the furthest goal, sort of goal side point of their defender because of Varane. So you can't yeah. draw a line. Yeah, I don't, I think they fucked it. I think that, well, I think they have to give it. He gave it, he didn't disallow it, did they? They gave it in the yeah, moment. Yeah. I think they have to give it. I don't think you can tell. There's no That's way. also, I don't think that guy's getting anywhere near that. It's nothing to do no, with he's anything. he's definitely not. That's he's definitely fuck not. fuck all to do with anything. No, there's no way that that guy's getting anywhere near it. Goal. Goal. Get in! Rightly so. He's bleeding again, Casemiro. He was ble this is why I came off the other day, wasn't it? That's what he did when he scored. He went like that, didn't he? Like yeah. he'd like knocked it open again. Which of Van der Gaag's gone absolutely it's great. It's kind of insane with his weighted if he, if he was. It's going to be four minutes stoppage time just for that. Because it was 88th minute when that went in. Has the game even restarted yet? Should have been straight over that really, but... I love that. Even in 2024, the best option that boxing, football, anyone has, when That'd someone's caught... Fat. A lot of fucking Vaseline. Vaseline. And it's Vaseline and all, isn't it? It's not even like antibacterial Vaseline. You can see the blue and clear tub. <laughs> Tuna Liverpool, that's, that's fair enough. Fuck you know. Hey. That's a big goal, that. Felt like Mark Robbins in 1990, that. Sets up hey. a... Well, how many minutes are we saying? Seven? Eight? Ten? Fuck knows. It's going to be a lot, in it? Because there's I been all sorts anyway. It's literally been five minutes since that goal went in. But He's got an interesting barnet. Yeah. Two or three haircuts at once. I don't know. Fucking hell. <laughs> Looks like he should be fucking stood outside it, Buckingham Palace with that fucking <laughs> thing on his head. Genuine piece of roadkill on there, that, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, look at this, <laughs> put a beaver on it. Full does beaver. It look, do it look all right? It looks, does it look good? I, I mean, it's obviously Can I go on now? Kill. Can I go on with this? Yeah, go on then, fuck off. It is obviously roadkill, but it looks all right. Sophie Amrabat's done well, man. Yeah, first half was a bit shaky. I thought it looked a lot nah, better second I think second the second half. half's been better. Yeah, yeah I agree with what you said, that, by the way, because at one point, it looked like he was determined to give them a goal. Yeah. Well, that him and Hudson and I just giving a high five. Yeah, fuck that noise. What's the matter with you? Flick him on the knob. 
Well, I've so. got McTominay. He was off. A completely bizarre performance by McTominay, by the way. Yeah. Had a bit of everything. As sort of unwatchably amateurish as it yeah. was brilliant. <laughs> wasn't it? Like, McTominay you know. did some things where you think, go on, you know, fucking go on, great art. And then other times you think, why have you just stopped Bruno scoring? Yeah. Why, why is your ankle just <laughs> crumpled underneath you when you tried to turn? <laughs> from Copy Mania. So do we know how many minutes stoppage time there are? Has anyone seen that? Has that been announced? It's one of those. It's, one of those, fifth it's one of those grey areas. Yeah. We're in the is there anything on the ads? Has anyone tweeted know. it or posted it on socials? Like, has anyone has anyone said like, oh, so many minutes? Usually United tweet it, don't they? Or often they will. Over at that Gibbs no, no, Take your time. Take your time. So... Th- I think there's going to be at least another seven or eight minutes from here, don't you? Because it's, yeah. it's like the 95th minute or the end of the 93rd minute, fourth minute, sorry, when we resume play. Is that Scott McTominay? <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Climb into the crowd and put a forest scarf on. Get amongst it. Oh, that's a terrible kick, that. Yeah. Fucking hell. Matty Jones with the super chat, and I love this. They tried their hardest to rule that one out, the dirty bastards with the VAR mates in the stands. Love that. Yeah. Clattenburg. You political bastards. Go on, Ahmad. Yeah, that was all right. What? Hey? Not been involved much, has he, Ahmad? I think he's done all right, you know. Do you? Yeah. I think he's been... I know he had that shot that was pretty poor, but... He's looked lively. He's not done loads, but he's been okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hell of a hairline as well, isn't it? I was thinking that before. Fucking hell. That's fucking proper. <laughs> uh. That's all right, I don't mind that. No word on the uh, stoppage time then, is there? It's a bit of a grey area. No one really knows. Yeah. I reckon we're going to see 100 minutes, though. For sure. Man, that was like a game at Old Trafford. It was fucking horrible, that. Yeah. Literally hanging on against 10 men Forest at home. Casemiro, the player match. of the match. There you go. I think in a, in a sort of a game lacking quality, the goal is probably enough to give it to him, isn't it? No one else has been any good, so mm. the fact that he's probably scored the winner is enough for him to get it. Um. Yeah. Do you know I don't think there's many. I don't think he's been good. I don't think there's many outstanding performances by United I think there's been a few okay ones yeah but I'm about a decent second half Bruno's shown some touches as well but I think there's been a lot of performances that's not really got into the game like Garnacho, Marcus yeah it's hard to know how United should be playing this because I don't know how many minutes are left I wonder if they do I don't know. I'm sure it was announced but Oh, Fucking hell. See, that's what he does as well, though, isn't it? Go Casemiro. on, Bruno. Watch Bruno here now. Well done. See what I'm saying? Fucking 90 what? 97th minute. And that's a brilliant pass as well. Do you know what I mean? You can't fault him for shit like that. No, I know he does well, a lot of people's heads in, but he fucking never stops. Yeah. And in games like that, in minutes like that, it's priceless. Keep it, keep it. Oh, go on, my son. Well done. Yeah. That'll do. Well done. Oh, haircut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you didn't have that fucking badger on your head, you'd have seen that, son. <laughs> hey. Such, like, dad stuff, in it. Get a fucking <laughs> haircut. <laughs> I mean, I... But it looks like it's actually it hurting looks alive. him. It looks like it's alive. Like, it, it looks, looks like, like it's hindering his ability to see. Yeah, I th- he's, he looks like he's trying to smuggle a wild animal. To corner that. Customs. Do they? It's a skunk. What's he Go doing then. here? What are you fucking squaring up to, you no mark? Not bad. It's alright, he's just doing himself no fucking favours. Yeah, yeah. Waste a bit of time. Do you remember the other week when we had a corner and um, we ended up conceding from it? Because we just gave the ball straight away. Just keep the fucking ball. Of 
corner. It is just a corner, and it's not. Is he waiting for VAR check or something? See if it's like someone got throttled. Oh, hang about. Hang about. Fucking Casemiro got sent off for that. He's fucking squeezing his throat there. That's not just all grabbing his shirt. He's grabbing his throat. You can see his thumb fucking digging into his throat. Are we not? Is that not a booking? Is that not sending off anymore? It was last season when Casemiro did it. Of course it's fucking not. Fuck off. Fuck off. No, I fucking you know what? hate that. It's Fuck fucking off. fucking joke. Absolute piss take. That is literally worse nah, than keep what it Casemiro down got sent off for last season. <sighs> fucking dumb. We could have kept that then. He's got his fit like... Uh, fucking what's going on here? Throat. Fucking carry on playing with put the two balls on the pitch. Clear it, well done. Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> Full time. Yeah, bring on the Scousers. Man United nil, well, Nottingham Forest nil, Manchester <laughs> United won. You're Thank so fuck. used to saying it. I know, yeah. You're so used to it's ingrained. Finished. Well done. Well done, everyone. Poor, just boring, strange performance from Man United, won it? it? It was. Ronnie, jump on the um, table, bro. Let's get you on the quick reaction from you two. Jump on there. If you've, if you've got a minute, you're all right, yeah? Good lad. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it was one of them, you nailed it, in the second half, the second half of the second half, they look, they look leggy, they look yeah. like they were, they were running out of ideas. We look more likely to score. We were having a lot more possession. Looked like there was a little bit more belief. I thought Amrabat in that, that part of the game started playing a lot better. Bruno was choosing his passes a little bit better. And we just started closing the problems. And I felt like if anyone was going to score, it was going to be us. Mm. And, you know, like you said, it was the, the Carabao Cup goal, wasn't it? Cross for um, yeah. Casemiro. Ronnie, what do you met, reckon? Um, I think we take the... The thing is, the city ground's not a, it's not an easy place no. to go to. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's, there's, there's much to say about it. You just say you take the win, you go through to the next round and you're happy with it. You, you take the positives, clean sheet. Um, I think Forest were quite poor, to be honest with you. I think yeah, it, was, yeah. it, it looked like a, a game of two teams that were that lacked quality. And then it was just about who showed that glimpse of quality to get to nick a goal would go through. And um, I think we showed that. We looked more likely to score the last 20 minutes. We had a few half chances as well. But um, I think we were aided by how poor Forest were as well. And um, I think if I think we on another day, if we when we play in better and better form, I think we would have punished them. To be honest, I think it would have been more comfortable than it was. But um, United specialise in making games a little bit of a struggle. But you take the one nil, you take the positives, the clean sheet, and we're through to the next round. Yeah. No, hundred percent. I agree. With you. There was at one point there was about two minutes of that game where it was generally like watching non-league. Mm. It was just two teams both hoofing yeah. it upwards. Yeah. Couldn't control like, the ball. Couldn't no one could control it. it. Yeah. People diving into challenges, mm -hmm. missing the ball and the man and everything. I was like, what is going on? But in the end, I think, you know, United still have a little bit about us, don't we? Yeah. So we can yeah. dig a goal out. And you've got when you've got someone like Casemiro, who's obviously very good with his head as well. Yeah. And a decent cross from Bruno that caused them problems. Glad to see VAR didn't ruin it because I, I thought it might do. But yeah, we'll take that like Ronnie says. Clean sheet, through to the next round. I want Liverpool at home. I wanted that. I might yeah. fucking regret saying this, but you want to fucking play the big teams and I still I still fancy us against anyone at Old Trafford and you could call me deluded considering we've just been beat off Fulham, but yeah. just the way I feel. Um, we're going to be back, aren't we? Yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes with the stick review. Stick around, yeah? yeah. Stay around for the review. Uh, me and Joe will be back. We'll go through that. So join in with us. Make sure if you're not doing already, you are hitting like, share and subscribe. But stick around. In about two minutes, we're we'll back for a live review. Then after that, you can hear from the likes of Andy Tate, Stephen Alston, all them lot as well. But yeah, that's been Joe Smith. I'm Jay Motty. This has been the watch along for Manchester United against Nottingham Forest. We're through to the next round. It's Liverpool at home in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Bring it on. <laughs>